Hey, this is Dan. Bob. And Dr. Agro from Gigaboots.com. And welcome to our cisgender heteronormative gaming podcast. Oorah. 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 <laughs> We're just it tying, seemed in appropriate. The mil- tying in the military. We, we, yeah, we've like, got to get the Call of Duty fans yeah. in there. Yeah. You know what somebody should do with Call of Duty? Make huh. a, Put in space. Make a dating sim. That would just be... Why not both? Okay. What, uh, why dating sim in space? Okay. Oh, yeah. Dating sim in space where uh, hel- uh, helicopters take down my fucking dog. <laughs> helicopters work in space. So do dogs. This is brilliant. <laughs> Everything's fitting together so nicely. Hey, Tom, how is that dog working? It's working great. <laughs> it's just in space holding dog. Like, I don't know. Yeah, a little doggy space suit. It's fine. I don't know if anyone else has brought this up, but my dog doesn't seem to work in negative three Gs. <laughs> okay. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on? Uh, well, I turned it off, but he doesn't seem to be turning back on. <laughs> Okay, um, go ahead and disassemble it. <laughs> Whoa! Bob, field stripping a dog is going to revolutionize modern warfare gameplay. I don't think we can disassemble Fish dogs. Fish will swim away from you as you eviscerate your companion animal. <laughs> Lay him out piece by piece onto a white sheet, blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> clean each individual part and then stuff them back together like that's gonna fucking work your whole squad is watching you do this while crying your eyes out thinking should we stop him I ain't gonna fucking stop him you stop him so what if he does that to me next what if he does that? we're gonna shoot him when he's done right oh yeah yeah we're yeah, gonna shoot him we're gonna shoot the shit out of him <laughs> we're gonna shoot him we're gonna burn that dog so uh what if the dog's okay after this but we you? have a new religion and a new war to fight. <laughs> I would agree with that. I would say at that point. I mean, where that's... else can you go with Call of Duty at this point? <laughs> um, Who down, now praise down, Steve? <laughs> you can go downhill. Call of Duty, the, the second life of Brian. There is actually a lot of stuff for us to talk about. Maybe we'll remember half of it and get around to talking about it. But uh, to recap what's happened recently... Uh, we had the pre-Tokyo game show, uh, Sony Computer Entertainment Japan uh, The pre-game conference. show game show. Yeah, the pre-game show game show. Um, and some other things kick up. Uh, Valve announced a new edi- initiative, which sounds weird and interesting. Um, and some other things. But we'll get, we'll get to that later. There are no other large events, right? I don't think any large <sighs> events happened aside from that. It's just that the gaming news channel is really busy. <laughs> Right, oh, just there's so much fucking going on. I'm like, oh god, I'm not gonna. I don't read news or I don't write news, you know, compressed news lists anymore. Hmm. Like I found that was probably the worst part of our podcast, in my opinion. Hmm. And if people disagree with that, eh. <laughs> I, today I saw. <laughs> Way to craft a compelling product, Dan. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, you know, Gig Boots has all been about reacting to user feedback on our device that we explicitly told people that no, it works. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> and then ripped it out about two months ago. <laughs> We're going to add a segment to the podcast that no one is okay with. (laughs) Run with it for four whole months out of pride. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Plus we, you know, paid a staff of engineers to engineer the whole damn thing over two years. Right. Oops. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, uh, Bob, what are you playing? Oh. um, I've been playing... I've been playing a lot of Zillia still. Oh, cool. I'm just about at the end of that one. Okay, cool. Mm. Yeah. And uh, how many tails you got left? See, it's it's tails without the eye. Right. But okay. how many how many do you have left? Well, like, there's only one. There's one big tail that goes. On. Why isn't it called tail? It's, 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 right. The, the, that is the tail of this Zillia. This is like the tenth one. There's a lot of them. Okay. Of Zillia? Well, no. Well, those are well, different so the, tails. Then there's True. one tail of Zillia. Well, I guess that there are lots okay. of smaller tails well, in this game. Okay, guys, we're well, getting well, off if, topic. If you want to get, we get into off. it, <laughs> did you get the tail yet? In I, Tale of Zillion. I have not. No. Wait. Well, I, you do unlock it, characters. It you can your... put tails on them. Okay. Did you get tail, though? Like, in the game, you know? Hey, lady. Is Miles Prowler <laughs> playable in this game? No. Mm. I know that sounds like a lose-lose. But it is. But really. Um, that's only one condition. It's just Wait, lose. wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Is Jehudi? Okay, what's that even? Jehudi? 
from Zone of the Enders? No, Ender? it's not. Doesn't you don't have a is map? Is Vise from Skies of Arcadia in this game? No. Okay, so we're sitting. <laughs> we're sitting now. We we thought we were at lose lose. It was yeah. just lose one. Now we're at lose lose lose. Bob, why are you even playing this fucking game? What do you? Why are you telling us about this shit pile of game? What do you see in this? What's I, in it for you? I, you know, I don't even know anymore. There doesn't have Vise. Doesn't have Jehuti. Doesn't even have that guy from Valkyria's Chronicle. Oh, that's dumb. one out of ten. Would not buy. <laughs> Two out of ten probably wouldn't pre-order again. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Two out of ten. Editor's choice. Editor's <laughs> choice. <laughs> um, it's my body. It's my choice. Okay. Uh, uh, I also uh, I tried out. Wait, no. Nope. Oh, real oh, quick. Okay. Real quick what tangent. Are... Real quick tangent. Okay. So here's what I think. Um, when you use a 1 to 10 scale, that should mean something within the context of the platform you're talking about, because otherwise, what are you judging the game based on, right? So, a Vita 10 out of 10, of course, doesn't look as good as, say, The Last of Us, right? right? Okay. Then, why are so many games on platforms, there's, like, nothing that's a 9? Like, and there are p- games that would be 9s on other platforms, but, like, things like 3DS and Vita are seen as like oh, they're less powerful so i enjoy this less is i think the mindset they're coming from it's it, like it's production part of values are so integral to their enjoyment yeah i mean i just i they, never like, like watching you search for a unified theorem for zero to ten scales no, no, is no, like no. watching a dbz kid try to make all that power level bullshit you, makes sense you've met jay from hailzion.com right yes yeah it was i'm like that right now right oh but no, really, uh, it's just like a lot of things about review sites and about the structure through which we do reviews constantly mm. on my head. And one of them is that, like, no, there is a best game on the Vita. Stop <laughs> fucking with people. <laughs> just uh, stop concentrating on the details and just fucking tell them what the fucking best game on yeah. the Vita is. Because Mercenaries got an eight. Okay. I'm like, like there's the Gravity Rush. Good or something. Actually, no. Uh, the review was glowing. The only thing bad they said was that there was technical problems. Huh. Maybe the technical problems are so huge. Maybe. And they were on NTA, so all they could d- say was <laughs> Vegify and say <laughs> technical problems. My Vita burst into flame! <laughs> Don't even know oh, how they did it. Cracked it open, there was a UMD drive made of flint. <laughs> I was terrified. I was covered in piss. It was most likely my own. Um, so... I. Yeah. Uh, one more thing on the review scale. Yeah, yeah. It also seems like that's happening not just on those. There's also happening on the Wii U. I've seen mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. like two reviews, Pikmin and Wonderful 101 on game trailers were incredibly glowing. Like they loved those games. And then it ends with 8.8. Like, and I just have to go back to that old theory of, okay, I think the only things that can possibly get 9 plus are shooters and open world games. Like, everything else is grade below else. because they, they are lesser genres. Yeah, I mean, yeah. from an American's mindset, the open world is the ultimate game. Yeah, it's just it's, how it is. I don't yeah. even I don't even get upset about that anymore. That's just how it is in the States. Um, and yeah, I, I really think we gotta... We have to... I want people to come up with a more rational and reasonable way to quantify these scales. Like, the way I think about it, right? You could easily do this. If you honestly believe someone with a platform should definitely check out this game despite what they think about that genre, that should easily be between an 8.5 and a 9.5. But as you just said, you know, Pikmin 3, which I would consider, you know, if you got a Wii U, you should fucking buy the game. <laughs> well, what the fuck else are you doing with it? <laughs> fucking Reggie's just standing on the street. Buy the game. <laughs> Bye, Reggie! I'm trying to sleep! <laughs> he has enough, Bye! He has enough time to come to every Wii U his owner's house, honestly. Yeah, all yeah. 30 of them. Um, and he does it. He does it for hours until you finally just kill yourself to escape him. <laughs> you look at the window with a gun to your head, and he's standing there with a knife to his throat. <laughs> well, see, here's the problem, though. You, you go to kill yourself, the QTE segment starts, you fail it, and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not cool. <laughs> You realize yesterday was, like, National Suicide Awareness Day? Oh, shit. Sorry, this podcast is actually going up on Thursday. Two days ago was National... Nah. 
Bob, so uh, what, what else other than the, the... I, I have been playing. <laughs> Move I, on! I, Move uh... on! <laughs> Buy the game! <laughs> I tried out Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate Edition, mm. oh, which yeah. uh, I've been pretty disappointed by, but oh, hey, wow. hey, it's, so, it's so like five new characters, something like that. How much does oh, were you one of those people that plays Dead or Alive for the gameplay? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, That's your is, first problem. It is, it is defense. <laughs> By the game. <laughs> like in his defense, they haven't made an extreme beach volleyball in a long time. It's uh, it's only forty dollars, so it's a discount price. And you can even okay, do uh, okay. the download version, which is free for four characters, and then you can buy extra oh, characters. Oh, the free to play one. Yeah, the free to play one. Where it's mm. all a car, you buy the characters. Nice. And you get which is try. strangely enough, if you do the download one, there's no way to get everyone in the story mission or in the story mode for forty dollars. It actually ends up being more money. Yeah, that's is, how those work. Hmm. It, you'd think they'd have some bundles. A bundle. Yeah, a bundle that would fix that. Like, okay, I know I want this digitally. I just so they it. don't sell Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate digitally. They just have the free-to-play version, correct? Right, and then okay. all the characters. So okay. if, I guess if you don't care about story mode, it's actually cheaper to get digital because digital, you can just buy all the characters for $35 or so. I, I mean, I, I we did that quick play of Dead or Alive 5, and I didn't walk away from that thinking the story mode was something. Yeah, was, the story mode was was not good. It so was just, I don't see why they're trying to charge 15 bucks for it is maybe what I'm getting at. Maybe if the story mode was somewhere <laughs> along the lines of writing of um, Sinner Sandwich, like because it was almost there. It was almost at Sinner Sandwich. And they're just like sitting in a bar, and, you know, it's the big, mean, rough-looking guys, and he's just like, Oh, that's Tina on TV. I'm drunk. That's <laughs> fine. And that's like the nice. every every segment. That's in the what story. I want from a fighting game. <laughs> but, Tina on a TV. <laughs> people being drunk and fighting. Yeah, there okay. we go. Fair enough. I always find a real real quick super small tangent. I find the way Jap- uh, Japan, uh, Japan, um, uh, genre affies their games is awesome. Like, it's an RPG in space that's an SFRPG. Yeah, that's... Nice. I do yeah. like that. It's, I, I just, I, I so like, I was like, maybe they call it a versus in-game. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. I... No. <laughs> but the weird thing about uh, the new Daryl, <coughs> because there's mm-hmm. no, like, individual characters have a different ending or something to unlock, it doesn't feel like there's anything special to do. So you're just... <laughs> <laughs> like like there is a final cutscene for the story mode but it's all the same cutscene all of the characters end up at the same birthday party <laughs> and share equal screen time because it's mostly clapping <laughs> congratulations congratulations you want an iPod Nano <laughs> Ryu Hayabusa is like where the fuck am I <laughs> um, but yeah it's, what was it they announced a new on the versusing tangent the versusing t- um they announced a new Tales of game, I think, and the, the like subtitle in Japan was Unison Ant, like Unison Ant Edition or Pack, and I was like, ugh, nice. it's either a Talier game or a yeah, Tales I think of. it's a Talier. Because I know there hasn't been a new Tales announced. <laughs> Sorry, would you say Italian? I think you're like Jack Trenton. <laughs> uh, you're definitely going to want to pick up the Italian. Her hat body. <laughs> His accent! I fucking love it! I just, I want us to get more ridiculously like way into character voice people as ceos like andrew house i'm all for that mm-hmm. fucking uh that guy he's got a have, do you recognize are you pulling a voice at all Mm-mm. okay i can't describe his accent i don't know a good term for it but he's just sort I was of really surprised work when no me. i i'm not that type of person i can't oh, okay. identify regions gotcha. i can impersonate voices i can't i don't know Right. Like when you said Jack Trenton was a Boston accent, I was like, that's fucking amazing. I didn't know. I'm like, that's so I could go there. <laughs> and there are like there are... entire groups of people uh-huh. all in one place yeah. that talk similarly. That's fucking great. Yeah. That's like, that's like, that's like buying real estate based on landscape, but for your ears. We need to take your ass to England because you go to a place. One accent. You go like four miles uh-huh. down the road. Yeah. New accent. I know. 
That's fucking It's like awesome. a buffet of terrible dentistry. Like, and I love it when, like, British people hear other British people that are YouTubers, and they're just like, fuck that guy's accent. And I'm like, he's one of you. I don't... And he's like, yeah, but his accent's obnoxious. And I'm like... The Scottish are like that, too. You've got, like, broad <laughs> Scots, which is what all the cartoon characters speak. Right. And then there's, like, regular Scottish, where they, they have respect for vowels. <laughs> I cannot remember the name of that uh, that really weird accent that they have in uh, it's Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels uses a lot, and that director mm. like puts in all of his movies. But I know, it's, it's Welsh. It, it's something that's just so indiscernible. Is it Cockney? Cock? No, it's, I don't think it is Cockney because Cockney Does it come is still off as a more British or random mid more more British thing. That could be British funny. isn't an accent, first of all. Okay, well, like, I'm trying to get a country down. That's English then. <laughs> There are seriously like four distinct is it accent branches. English <laughs> or some other European country. Let's move on. <laughs> Just not so what are the games have you been playing? I've been playing Muramas on the Vita. I'm sorry, we're in we're in the Americas where we call the United States of America America. And we call ourselves Americans. Like there's right. nobody fucking else living. The Canadas on don't even count. This giant Fucking Canadians continent. Canadians aren't pissed that we don't call them Americans. <laughs> yeah, they, they feel blessed. Um, <clears throat> We're not calling Mexicans Americans. Central, That's just not happening. Central America and South America are pretty fucking annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they don't like, like that shit. If anything... Uh, uh, like, Mexico from America, where are you from? They're like, God damn it. <laughs> what? <laughs> America, why? Also, <gasps> what about Guam? Uh, what be, about? be careful with that shit there. Yeah. If you call someone from Guam, like, oh, like, oh, you're not an American, you're from Guam, well, they, they will knife your ass. Huh. Americans, last I checked, which was admittedly 1993, uh, really like being American. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, there's a bit of a culture thing you should catch up on there mm. and, about Americans <laughs> and loving to be Americans. <laughs> um, but uh, you know what? You're still good. Mm. Yeah. What else did you play, Bob? Uh, Muramasa on the uh, oh yeah the that's right you picked I've been that up that. on that discount yeah it was on sale that's right this is my playing play instead of Dragon's Crown so so you can catch up have you sure all right good yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a thing we will accept as true <laughs> um okay so you didn't you didn't pick up Kills on Mercenary I did not and you did not pick up Puppeteer. No. And you did not pick up Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 HD. I intend to, but have not yet. Okay, I was, I was saying, because I'm looking over there, totally and I see a that. fucking giant poster for Kingdom Hearts 1.5 <laughs> HD, and I'm like, he hasn't said he's... What a fucking poser. <laughs> Just I love... His disk drive work. I love Kingdom Hearts. Um, what's his name? Sarah? <laughs> yeah, but, Sarah's... A cool guy. I'm like now. Now I know he's full of it. Him and that like Sarah really is not guy a cool with guy. the horns. <laughs> God, you're the only person who's as caught up on that as I am. Do you know that? Because no. everybody else and I have a conversation about Kingdom Hearts, and the whole time I have to subdue how fucking angry I am at them. That fucking Nomura just like, okay, now we're taking this character design, and it's a kid. <laughs> and as soon as it came out, everybody's like, it's this character. He's like, no, it's a, it's a totally new character. We're like, no, 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 we don't care that you did this. You just need to be straight with us. Uh, oh, he's being serious. <laughs> we kept, like, I kept waiting for a Kingdom no. Hearts game to go to, like, the bouncer world. <laughs> And that guy to be there? <laughs> yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. Out proper's hand to shake. No, 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 don't. Just see, don't see do that. here's how it breaks down. Volt doesn't give a shit. Because he's got horns. Why should he? Right? So he's just like staring. No, he's not even staring. He's looking past Sora. He didn't even look at Sora long enough to realize how fucking weird that was. <laughs> Ko is talking on a phone to call an airstrike on some third world nation, I presume. <laughs> or something. And then he just looks at, like, Sora... Looks at Scion, looks back at Sora, and then just keeps talking on the phone. But see, since you played through as Sora, you don't get to hear the other half of the conversation. What you'll need to do is start another new game, play as Ko, and then you get all of that context for him calling, uh, because he's vague. You know, most of the conversation's on the other end of that phone, and you just gotta play through again as Ko to know he's calling a, an airstrike on a third world country. Um, so it sounds very important. Since, yeah. since I don't remember the bouncer that well, um, I just have Koaraki now oh. in those scenes. 
Um, well, Bloom is the voice actor for Co. That could totally work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, I was I didn't know how that was gonna go for you. <laughs> so I was throwing it out there. Yeah. I'm like, hey, are you are like, like, it was like that window screen. It, it, it's like, it's hey, like, um this may not display. You sure you wanna <laughs> It's like Bloom and Sabbath. It's just I don't care if the voice fits, it's just it's one of them, it's okay. <laughs> Why I've come not? to accept my, it. My brain will accept that. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Crispin Freeman falls into that for me. <laughs> Crispin Freeman does fall into that for everybody. I, I, like, I, with that, it's really more like, oh, good, Crispin Freeman's here. <laughs> Thank God. Delightful. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how I got for Patrick Seitz, the guy who does Ragnar of the Blood Edge. Mm. He shows up in something, and I'm like, cool. That probably means the rest of this dub will be awful. <laughs> Lisa Ortiz. People are still hiring you? Awesome. <laughs> Bravo. Fucking, we did that for Lost Universe. Like, we looked up the voice cast. Or, like, people are still hiring these guys? <laughs> At some point, did they learn how to speak? <laughs> <laughs> Agro. Yeah. What are you, what are you playing? Well, uh, aside from copious amounts of Borderlands 2, which just keeps oh. getting better and better. Cool, cool. Uh, I, I just played the uh, the demo of Diablo 3 on the PS3. Oh, how was that? Uh, it, it really delivered on what uh, I need my demo experiences to deliver on. I now know that I'm not getting Diablo 3. <laughs> okay. Because before I was like, you know, I came out of the PC. I'm like, I didn't really like Diablo 2, but 3 looks so awesome. And then, then I saw the horrible shattered faces of the people who played it. I'm like, maybe, maybe not. Then they're like, the console version is the best version of Diablo 3. I'm like, okay, well, it's like, wow, no, I don't want to play this. I'm astonished it, like, has the level of anti-aliasing it does and runs at 60 frames per second. Like, it does have some screen max tear. Cap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that in the trailers, and I'm like, that's not getting fixed. All right. <laughs> like, just, like, I just, see... Just put that on the cover of Diablo 3. <laughs> 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 Destructoid <fixed>. said <laughs> that's, that's not, not getting fixed. Um, <laughs> you, you play. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. It's like you have all these features, like like this. And like was it uh, uh, PVP Arena? <laughs> strike through text. <laughs> real mar- real money auction house. Strike through text. Yeah, I'm sure real money auction house would have gone great on consoles. <laughs> oh. Like Sony wants their thirty percent, Blizzard wants their you know twenty percent, and you, well, you need to pay taxes on this. So. <laughs> yeah, God, real money auction house. Yeah, yeah, see, like here's the thing: I'm okay with the concept of the real money auction house. I'm not okay with the fact that, that in a case you didn't know this, Agra, I think we may have gone through this. I'm not sure. Hmm. Um, the real money auction house and what items were listed on it actually affected their drop rates in the game, wholly separate from the real money auction house. That's why the real money auction house was huh. as heinously received as it was. Like it, everyone was fucking furious. Yeah. Because you can't, you can't. You can't leave your game design that open to the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you really can't. Yeah, it just and they. I mean, they. What it made them do was the way item drops worked in general. Yeah, yeah, and I. You like, could actually you're... lose money going out for stuff. Uh huh. That was yeah ridiculous. It was, like the auction house was so beautiful in World of Warcraft. You had you had entire player communities just for the auction house. People paid the sub fee to log in and play economics. Yeah. It was great. Just the problem was making that happen again with real money, or and like you can't go into WoW and switch it to real money. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, that thing with the whole uh, with the Steam stuff. You know, uh, what's that system called? Trading cards. The uh-huh. trading card system on Steam and mm. people selling that to other people, but Wasn't then it stays banned in Japan. Steam dollars. I don't fucking. <laughs> it was like technically classified as gambling. I I don't fucking pay attention to Japan. <laughs> what? That, that would be the coward's That's, way out. There are so... I, <laughs> would you guys like to know what And I've so our playing? friendship ends. It's not with a bang, <laughs> but with a whimper. Would you like to know what I've been playing? No, I don't like the feeling it's more. unavoidable. Okay. So... Um, so, wait, no. I, those are two different answers. You two need to confer. Bob... Do not disagree with me in front of Daniel. Dan, as you were. <laughs> okay. Um, so I've been playing God I Wish I Were Playing Pokemon, 
which is a is that on the it's iPhone a game? It's uh, no, it's 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 a mind it's a mind game. It's for Mind OS. Uh-huh. I, uh, I sit there and view my entire le- life through the lens of I want to fall horribly, horribly deep down the rabbit hole of addiction. For I don't. I still. Again. I don't still look at what is it a Minecraft level? <laughs> It probably is. Just sitting there with a the DS thinking, one day the government will recognize this is a legal addiction, and I'll get to live in a government-sponsored house while they'll let me do this forever. I'm actually going to tell a story. You, you know we have this random chance that any single podcast episode is going to blow up because we say something terrible or we say something that somebody thinks is whatever. Right. And they sh- share it, right? So I go into every episode knowing... Uh, that I could say something here. You know, I like to run it like we've always run it. But one time, I'm going to I'm gonna say something on the upper tier of Gigaboots-esque, uh, uh, not cynicism or snarkiness, but uh, truth facts. It's real time. Real time We're gonna truth reels. facts. Um, and somehow that'll get out there and then it won't be received well. Um, so this is one of those segments. So the PlayStation blog did that MoFilm competition. Right. Um, I listened to the PlayStation blogcast, and they uh, they did just now, like last Tuesday, I think, or last Friday. Yeah, the podcast up- updates on weird days. In any case, they did interviews with uh, all five people who won the uh, PlayStation blogger competition. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um you're gonna love where this is going because I know you two are like, is Daniel gonna rage that he didn't win? <laughs> no, Daniel. Daniel did not do a good enough job to win. <laughs> Daniel knew that somewhere in his one hour of sleep, yeah. um, fervor. Um, but in any case, did I ever explain why? Why that? That real quick. This isn't even for the viewers. This is an actual conversation between Agbo and myself. Did I explain to you that I was really fucking sick leading up to that, and my plan was to film that whole thing during the sick phase? <laughs> that was my that fucking week where I did all that Rogue Legacy was when I allotted to film that thing. Nice. But I wouldn't stop being sick right. because I yeah yeah I remember that. You know I think you filming your audition while sick is like an auto fail. They're like he's weak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You you are persevering. I think the current video showed that I was <laughs> <laughs> I was all sort of perspirants. Um, <laughs> so anyway. So in any case, they do an interview with the guy, and uh, they got five guys. And the first one they start off with is unbelievably the most farcically stereotype level of Minecraft fan. Awesome. He doesn't, his channel doesn't cover console games at all. He doesn't really (laughs) play console games at all. He doesn't really seem to know a whole lot about anything about anything that isn't Minecraft. And he knows a shitload about that. So Sid Schumann, the head of the PlayStation block, just keeps trying to steer the conversation. He's like, you got to PAX. Uh, what, what did you like at PAX? And he's like, well, I tried I tried Killzone, and the controller was all right. <laughs> and, like, every tangent that isn't, pot, uh, isn't Minecraft drops like that. <laughs> so then it becomes, what do you think they'll have for Minecraft on the Vita, random YouTube guy? And then he's like, well, you know. And then he spends five fucking minutes talking about that. And then Sid Schumann's like, I'm not going to be able to ask this guy anything that isn't Minecraft. <clears throat> so, how did they go about making Minecraft? And you could almost hear Sid Schumann Just like... Shut down. <laughs> yeah, shut down. <laughs> Sid Schumann sleep mode activate. It, it became surreal because, you know, we always hold in our mind because we've met people like this who just... Minecraft is everything. Mm. Minecraft is gaming to them. Yeah. And the joke... We make jokes about like... Or at least me and my coworker do of like PlayStation and other people like somehow getting guys like this on stage or out there in the press at all to throw them out in front of people and be like, this was a mistake. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it was that. And to add to the surreal comedy horror to <laughs> element of it, there are seagulls like squawking in the background because they're filming like at a dock <laughs> somewhere in California. So he's like, and um, so so Marcus Persons did it himself. Uh, he developed it all by himself. And uh, but see, he's super eloquent, this guy, right? right. Like like he, he he's sort of like he doesn't get caught up on words as much as myself. He's eloquent in that he just keeps rolling, keeps talking, and he's interesting to listen to. But the problem is he he comes off as he as Asperger's syndrome for right. Minecraft. It's like me when you're like Dan, what are you doing on the couch for the second week in a row? Don't you have a job? And I'm like, no. okay, see if you. <clears throat> 
if you take the Ampharos <laughs> and crossbreed it with the Chimchar. The thing about that is, like, I understand Pokemon. I understand what that did to your brain. Minecraft people, like, I played Minecraft for a few hours once. Minecraft people, I just, I sit there and I'm like, how are you this into one fucking thing? Oh my god, is that what that feels like? <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's somewhere between um, complete complete lack of understanding and abject terror. Mm-hmm. Um, that emotion. <laughs> I'm like, man, that's that's what I looked like through all of middle school and high school. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I was incredibly popular in the anime club. Who am I kidding? Um, <laughs> Lord of the Fly situation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that that was fun. That's fun. If yeah. you want to hear that, go listen to the PlayStation podcast from whatever day that was. It was funny too because they he at the beginning of every interview he's like, yeah, we just took these guys over to fucking Bungie. Bungie gave them a tour of the studio and they had to sign these waivers and they got to check out all this cool stuff. What do you want to talk about, Minecraft? Okay. Is, is is there a sort of backup uh. contest where we can like, <laughs> like 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 these slots are like these slots exist. These offices exist. Mm-hmm. These people occupy them. Mm-hmm. If we can somehow, I don't know, battle make royale, make them not occupy those slots. <laughs> okay. Possibly by killing them. Okay. Not say indefinitely. Yeah. No, that, that's not a thing Gigaboot boot supports. Giga killing boots the Minecraft doesn't guy. speak indefinites. <laughs> but only a, only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love that sentence. Um. But if we could, like, end their occupancy, could we then claim them? I don't know. Their offices. Um, when I was telling uh, one of my coworkers... And their bungee tours. ...about this. Because shit, I want to know more about Destiny. Yeah. Bungie's, like, one of the coolest developers <laughs> in the world. I'd love to go visit them. But, uh, in any it's case... like, Bungie, I see what you're doing with the caster class and, and all the armor and shit. Could I possibly get a robe and a large book? That'd be good. That'd be great. <laughs> that'd be great for me. That, that'd be great I don't for me. I don't need a gun, either. Um, Just let's... Don't worry about giving it to anybody else. Let's make this happen. If you could just do that for me. I, I, have, I have put small black suitcases all around this building, uh, three of which contain a deadly neurotoxin. <laughs> 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 you will acquiesce to my game design notes, <laughs> or the art team will die. <laughs> um, when I brought this up oh, wow. with my uh, coworker, he actually he posited that Sid Schumann was trying to stick him in the harshest life possible, like run the interview in the most revealing way possible so that way the community could rage on him and then remove him. And I'm like, no, <clears throat> you, you misinterpret this, James. See, what this is is a man who's bound by contract to deal with this guy. <laughs> right? Treating like, him like a trying, contest winner. Oh, make wait. <laughs> the best out of him. Um, and the second one wasn't anywhere near as funny, but I stopped listening at the second one. The second guy um, actually snuck off in the middle of an official thing that was a part of this contest. Uh, they got a bunch of people together to play Killzone mm-hmm. Shadowfall so they could then talk about it, you know, that thing that they were hired to do. Right. Um, he snuck out of that to play a game, and then he's like, what game did you play? And he's like, I don't think I can uh, talk about it. It's not PlayStation. Sid's like, oh, you. And I'm just sitting there like, Sid wants to brain this guy. <laughs> wow. I think all of us want to brain that guy. <laughs> Wow. You don't deserve what you have. I'm curious what the last three were like, but I didn't make it that far. I was just disinterested. I'm like, mm-hmm. ah, I get more cogency and delightfulness out of Modest Mouse. And we so could at I'm least gonna... put these guys through some humiliating, I want to be the tester style bullshit first. I love that, though. I love that humiliating, I yeah. want to be the tester style like, hey, bullshit. Hey, you, you want to block for PlayStation? Yeah, run the soft course in your underwear. <laughs> Okay. Do it. It's it corporate hazing. <laughs> right. And, you know, I feel maybe that would strengthen corporations if we had more of that. Mm-hmm. Sure. You think you're going to work at Bed Bath & Beyond? Yes. Take your pants off. Uh, it's like J.C. Penny all over again. <laughs> <laughs> there are no sales! I, I'm sorry. I, I, was, I was telling her. I was telling her that... I, I don't know. I'm sorry I said the yes word. No, you aren't sorry yet. Actually, did you two hear about that? Yeah, yeah, I okay. know that story. Did you? No, what? Uh, see, what it was is the guy who ran the Apple stores came over to J.C. Penney. He's like, okay, J.C. Penney's in crisis because they haven't mattered since the 90s. We're going to fucking mix this shit up. We're going to Apple style this. Because, you know, he was the director of the retail element of Apple. Right. So he's like, here's what we're going to do. 
no more sales everything's going to be sold at the lowest price we can do constantly so if people come there they know they're getting a good deal we're not screwing them on some things and doing them well on others we're just going to give them a good deal and they lost so much money because fucking people are idiots they're like i i don't feel special shopping there anymore with their billions of sales and coupons and things so they lost so many customers oh wow that's yeah. and then they outed the guy the I'm like, that man's a fucking hero! Right? <laughs> but he's not a good marketer, apparently. No. That was depressing. They did ads. It was ads. a total reverse Burger King. They did ads featuring, I think it was uh, Ellen DeGeneres, where she would... I'm not looking at you for confirmation, right. just so we're clear. Okay. <laughs> you have really good eye contact. That's good. <laughs> Hired. Maybe instead of lying to you, I could be lying... For you? <laughs> so In anyway. case, they got Ellen DeGeneres to come on TV, I believe. And uh, she was just like, let's explain the whole concept. You're getting the absolute best deal always. And they just did so many ads. And they just tried to... Yeah, like like I, I saw a bunch of their print ads. It was like respect and honest pricing and like, you know, power to the consumer and all this shit. And like, it, was, it was a beautiful, uplifting program that just yeah. went down in flames it did and i just was because fucking... fuckers would rather buy an 80 dollar jacket for 60 dollars than a 40 dollar jacket for 40 dollars yep yep yeah so i That's... was just fucking angry oh. and i'm never ever gonna forgive americans <laughs> for that uh what else have i been playing i've been playing uh compress the podcast or compress the conference which is a fun game. See, you take a two-hour conference uh -huh. and you write a script that summarizes most of it and then you edit it down to maybe 20, 30 minutes. And that sounds a lot easier than it is, I assure yep. you. Yep. I've been desperately, desperately wanting to play Dragon's Crown. I haven't <laughs> had any time. I'm like, oh, fuck. Um, but here's the crazy part. Um, this may completely flip upside down. Um, this may be get... Oh, no. I'm not going to try that. I'm not 100% positive on the lyrics to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air intro. And as such, I don't want to stumble into the internet hating me forever. So I'm going to step off that joke. We're going to move aside and walk around the joke. So, I may have just started a three-week vacation. Yeah. I will know at the end of today. <laughs> huh. Is that it's, how vacations it, work at your job? It's very isn't at my job. <laughs> how do vacations work at your job? What's a vacation? <laughs> Good one, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I recently switched to a job that has vacations. It was kind of weird because I told them I'm leaving the state for a few days. I'm sorry. And I come back and they're like, "Did you apply to get that time paid?" I'm like, "To do what?" <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna. But, but I wasn't working. <laughs> why are you paying me this is why we don't know what you want you reward us for doing nothing and punish us for doing things so anyway you start salivating when you hear the clock in sound oh, that's weird why am I doing that damn it <laughs> no, I just, I, my neighbor was building something a couple weeks ago and it, <laughs> like he, he, he hit something with a hammer and I swear to god it was the League of Legends match ready sound <laughs> And he really, he didn't do it, he just did it once, every now and then. So I couldn't, like, get used to it. Just, oh, shit, I need to... Damn it! Why am I not playing League of Legends? I uh, brought this up in the last podcast, but Agarro wasn't here. Fucking Phil. God damn it, mm -hmm. Phil. Came over. Huge yeah. trophy whore. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Still, still gets me. Uh-huh. I haven't heard it in over a week, but the experience of being traumatized <laughs> right? with false trophies. That's fucked up. <laughs> um, Playroom has trophies. For those who are interested. If, uh, also, <laughs> on Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD, wow. that movie you can watch for the third game, uh, it's 365 over two days, Yeah, you get trophies for watching it. You get trophies. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck is that? So, yeah, right? so, anyway, so, um, so trophies for TV? <laughs> yeah, trophies for TV. <laughs> trophies for Netflix. Yeah. Did you know that they give achievements for day one editions of Xbox? Uh-huh. That's evil. Uh, that's been known for months. It's an exclusive day yeah. one edition achievement. Only those people get it. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
they are taking all of the hooks and using <laughs> them to pull you towards their goal. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, we'll see how long the day one editions last. Chivos go pay Possibly they keep producing day one editions for that's, quite a while. <laughs> that's what they, they, they said, that you can walk into a store and get a day one edition on day one. That's what they've said. Huh. It's fucking funny. Yeah, I, I, they're I, just like, I, I, they're I, like, you guys. can walk into a store on day one and buy an Xbox One. And what was it? Jeff Gersman for the Giant Bomb's like, maybe you shouldn't say it like that. Maybe that's a mixed message because you're telling them people aren't interested. <laughs> right? <laughs> you're just going to be able to walk into a fucking 7 Eleven and get your Xbox. <laughs> we can't get rid of these day one editions. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to someone. They were telling me about how Microsoft has said that they'll have a whole bunch at launch that mm. for that aren't ordered or something. And it's yeah. like, that's really strange. It's like day one or th- five or. <laughs> I mean, we if you have all of these ones that, that people can order, then why not let them order them? Because you know that those people are going to come buy them. But whatever. Maybe this what is some... Whatever. Maybe. Oh! You know what else I've been playing, which what? you and I will talk about on next week's podcast. I've been playing the super exclusive Alpha for Freedom Planet. Ah, yes. We got a hookup with the people who made uh, Freedom Planet. We have... <laughs> we have an in... And uh, I have an innie. Oh, me too. Nice. Cool. High five. So uh, we have an in, and uh, they were like, hey, we can we can send you a build for you to try out. Uh, but you can't show it. The art's still being finished, various right. other elements. Uh, we'll have a press build soon, but you can talk about it. So you've started seeding this thing already, right? Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, it was really funny. Get when, that shit on my phone? when the person did, <laughs> <laughs> when the person did get that file to me, um, it actually explicitly said in the file like name and like the, the folder on the server the person put it up four GB. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they'll know. There, there's got to be something in here. Yeah, I got a friend who would Here's buy the, buy the, uh, the the PDFs for Dungeons and Dragons games. And he'd, he'd make copies <clears throat> for us to use on the different tablets at our table. Mm. And he'd, he'd hand them to us and go, like, my name is on this file, on every page of this file. If I find this shit on the internet, <laughs> I'm going to get you before they get me. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's just been so much uh, gaming news, and I've been working on a lot of Gigaboots projects. Some of, I can't even actually talk about it, because you'll think I'm fucking with you. So I'm not even going to say what I'm working on until it's done. Gigaboots.com. It's only a secret if it's really awesome, really far-fetched, or incredibly offensive. Or the Luigi's Mansion review. <laughs> <laughs> Which was all three. Which was some. I just finished the script for the seventh time, looked at it, and said, Damn! I offended me. <laughs> <laughs> I kept having to find thicker and thicker paper so it would stop melting or bursting into flames. <laughs> and the worst part is it was a text <coughs> file on a computer. That is how bad that was. So, yeah, that's what I've been playing. Yep. Um, I, I'm serious, though, uh, on the I wish I was playing Pokemon thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Pokemon did, did you is, see the... Uh, just, yeah, okay. we'll, we'll you, get to you, that. You saw that. We'll get to that. that. We'll get to all that. Okay. That, that. We'll In we... just a moment. So we got a shitload of news to talk about. Um, we'll just bounce all over the place. Never mind, we'll bounce. Thanks for listening to the Good Foods <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> This was damn video games. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> One day I will kill you for that. <laughs> um I don't I don't know how to even frame the story. So on NeoGAF, oh, they're starting here. <laughs> the marketing director of the Xbox division showed up to inform some people with some truth facts about the performance difference of the Xbox One and PS4. And it was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> That's about all that needs to be said. Um, he said he twisted a shitload of numbers to try to make it sound better. It was just like the we have three cores that runs at 3.2 gigahertz. That makes our processor 9.6 gigahertz of performance mm. of the 360 launch. All um, right, like 
it's straight up that chain. It's exactly of, like the 360. Well, it was launch. Yeah. Damn it. I, I found the best part was when Ars Technica ran, ran an article on it and right. pointed out every flaw. Because every, oh, every, oh, oh, every person on NeoGAF or, you know, the technical people on NeoGAF are just like, this is horseshit and you're being disingenuous. And they pointed out a few things. And then people were still like, no, man, stop being a jerk. <laughs> and then Ars Technica is like, you know what? We're going to write an article about this. And the amazing part is the guy who wrote the article is Peter Bright, who is the Microsoft fanboy at Ars. That's how far they done fucked up. Nice. That their own fanboy's like, no, this deserves an article. And the guy who currently writes for games for Ars Technica is a fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, fucking idiot. What are you working on? I'm working on how the PS Vita TV and all other set-top box game consoles are f- going to fail. Okay, that's... Yeah, um, yeah, I'll write this. Okay. <laughs> you should read that article. I really don't want to. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't want to read anything written by Kyle Orland. Hmm. He's not um, a good writer, well, there as you they go. say. Um, and it's funny because the last guy at Ars Technica for games was Ben Kuchera, who, of course, I had a beef with because his <laughs> his review on Pixel Junk Shooter 2 was rented. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll do it for Dan. If, if you ever want to suicide <laughs> by Daniel... <laughs> just just talk shit about pixel chunk anything. No, just tell so t- talk <laughs> shit about it. Right as the negative, it's too hard. Mm. And then recommend that people rent a digital game. Like you have to do all of those. You <laughs> Q Games is the worst developer of the last decade. Star Fox is overrated and Dylan Cuthbert's an asshole. Also, I said long you Cuth Cuthbert. And then I just beat them to I'm like, were all of those things in that article? The, Jeez, the, or in no, the review? No, but that, that was, was just way too hurtful. <laughs> I'm looking Damn, at you, dude. Daniel Mitchell. Scope that in a little bit. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Dan Video Games. <laughs> um, yeah, so then Peter Bright goes in and does a point-by-point analysis right. of what he said. He was, he was fucking funny. Can you, uh, can you pull that up? It's on that NeoGAF thread. It should be clickable out. Hell, you may still have the Ars Technica. Doesn't look like it though. Um, <laughs> got so many funny gifts. Okay, yeah, click that article. Oh, actually, never mind. That was it right there. Uh, can you bring it over to the TV so we can see that? So we can read a couple of these. Okay, so. Oh my God. Yeah, it, it's doing a one to one. It's, it's got, a it's chart. It's got this chart here, and it has a quote from Pinello, and then it has a quote from, uh, or it has the analysis by Peter Bright, the Ars Technica token Microsoft fanboy. He has a he has a Windows phone, so that way we're perfectly clear the level of Microsoft fanboy this has to be mm-hmm. a Windows okay. phone. So in any case, um, yeah. <laughs> Here's the quote from Pinello. It's 18 CUs, which stands for compute units, uh, versus 12 CUs does not equal 50% more performance. Multi-core processors have inherent inefficiency with more compute units. So it's simply incorrect to say it's 50% more GPU. Then Peter Bright comes back with the entire point of GPU workloads, aka GPU compute, is that they scale basically perfectly. So 50% more cores is in fact 50% faster. <laughs> yeah. And it's fucking they're, true. They're That's like the this. point. They're, yeah, they're, they're all this level of you're fucking lying at a basic level, you disingenuous asshole. Like uh, the next one's adding, uh, the quote is, adding to that, each of our CUs is running 6% faster. It's not simply a 6% clock speed increase overall. To which Peter Bright replied, what the hell does that even mean? Because to say it runs faster, but it's not a clock speed increase is just fucking... What are you trying to communicate? <laughs> yeah, I don't. that one's really confusing. Like, is he trying to say, well, it's not just 6% faster on the whole. It's each not, one is 6% faster. I, so not, it's like 16% it's, it's stacking. Yep. <laughs> Stacks not, in duration, not that's intensity. Actually, that actually is, from what I, I've also read, what he was going for with that. But I'm like, that's still 6%. Right, six percent across four cores 
is the same thing as six percent more of the sum of its parts. Right. So what he's saying is just is just like fluff. Yeah, it literally it's not just six percent better, it's six percent better on this area. And this area, <laughs> and th- th- that's basically what he's doing. And he's like, "That's way better," mm-hmm. which isn't even good math twisting. I know good <laughs> math twisting. Let me tell you. That <laughs> what was what was the destructoid box quote we were going for? That probably won't be fixed. <laughs> yeah, that won't be fixed. <laughs> that won't get fixed. Um, yeah, and there are a few more choice quotes here, and it's just fucking fucking crazy uh i actually you know i'm gonna read one more because it's really really funny right okay um oh man they're so choice like all of them but uh here's the quote uh we understand gp gpu which is gpu compute for those who don't aren't familiar with that we understand gp gpu and its importance very well microsoft invented direct compute and have been using gp gpu in a shipping product since 2010 it's called connect to which Peter Bright replies who, replies, who cares about the API? It really doesn't make much difference. To which he's correct. In fact, Sony has the much lower level language API for the graphics. If you really want to get to that scale of like, you're talking raw APIs. They have the easy to use one, which is the equivalent of DirectX, basically. And then they have super low level, like you could do crazy things, like it, crazy things. <laughs> Um, and really take advantage of the hardware. Um, more importantly than that, though, if you really want to get into the GP GPU thing and how the PS4 is just straight up better at that, um, it's got certain tags you can tags co- tag codes with so that way when you go to do a GPU compute thing, you don't accidentally fuck with values somewhere and invalidate huge <laughs> amounts of processing <laughs> cycles and other things. Um, they added a volatile tag for code. So you could do that. So you could tell it, hey, if you're going to change these values, let this know. So that way, you know, we aren't just fucking spinning our wheels. Nice. Whereas the Xbox One doesn't. <laughs> it's like, we have GPU compute. Did you fix that uh, underlying problem that makes it relatively inefficient when talking about a video game space? Mm. We have Connect. AMD suggested that. <laughs> we have no, the no, no. sensor. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Somebody has been listening. <laughs> this guy knows where it's at. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it just it, it's just... This is horseshit. There's a couple of things about this scenario that, that I, I find rather fascinating. Um, okay. One, th- this is, this is a, the, the, the head of marketing for the Xbox. Mm-hmm. Marketing director. Who, and and he still has his, his job. He's been there all of since this shit. May. Yeah. Secondly, <laughs> this is um, this is something I keep talking about. Where Microsoft doesn't seem to understand that no one thinks they're hot shit. Like, like they don't have the kind of street cred they think they're throwing around. I guess to send their fucking marketing director to go talk hardware specs on NeoGAF. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, how? What was their end game strategy for that? <laughs> as, how did they think this shit was gonna end? As Julie Urman of uh, CEO of Oreo would say, it takes balls. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know if that's the one part of that video I vividly remember because it fucking annoyed the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I get it because she's a pussy lady who's in charge and she's saying she has balls, but she doesn't. Right. That's hilarious. Yeah. And this guy came on NeoGAF and then said he had 18% more performance, but he, he doesn't. <laughs> and it's funny I'm because it's saying. his job to not let shit like this happen. I know, right? It is specifically his job to make sure this See? kind of shit doesn't happen on I the think internet. That Sid Schumann is going to show up at random Xbox <laughs> forum. <laughs> no, he's just going to show up on NeoGAF and be like, PC is dead. Long live PS4, our newfound lord and savior. <laughs> I, I can't wait till they show up on goddamn 4chan. Like somebody <laughs> from the Xbox division is going to go to 4chan and try to get them to troll Sony. Now, if that I... is the level of uh, incompetent these people are at this point. If I uh, read correctly, Major Nelson shows up, too, Ooh. with the name Major underscore Nelson. Right. Makes yeah, sense. I heard that uh, just... he is now on NeoGAF. Yeah. That was thing. That's delightful. Right. That's exactly where I want that fart. 
Like, yeah, no, come right in. Fart in my house. Yeah, just fucking fart all over the place. Dick. <laughs> I think the absolute best part of this whole thing is that he caps it off by saying how hardware specs don't matter. Yeah. And he start, play, he's been he's, saying that since he like months ago. He starts by saying he hasn't had his hands on a PS4. So, you know, and they haven't had their hands on an Xbox One. So no one really knows. And all of this is reactionary to a third-party dev who's working on a multi-platform game saying the PS4 is 50% more powerful. So he had his hands so, on both, you say, you're saying? And this guy, I don't. <laughs> well, the, the important thing is Microsoft doesn't have their hand on Sony's and Sony doesn't have their hand on Microsoft's. And he starts with that. He says, so no one really knows what the performance difference is. But what I can tell you is that it's not that much. <laughs> like, it's fucking the craziest opening ballad ever. <laughs> this is young earth creationist argument. <laughs> that is exactly what this is. You open by saying that you can't say anything definitively because you weren't there. That, that, then you talk about how your argument is valid because there's a huge controversy that you're fucking causing. Uh, then you throw out some random numbers and bullshit you're twisting around, uh, glossing over everything that doesn't sound good. Then you end by saying that all of that science doesn't really matter because your faith is what uh, leads you to believe this in the first place. All right. Nice. <laughs> Not to make a pun, but Jesus Christ, man. Yep. Yep. Moving on. I'm going to try my best to uh, very quickly synopsize this one. So, oh, you ran into some shit. Really? Did you hear about the... Was it the... its basic design philosophy? No, oddly <laughs> enough, it wasn't. Huh. Uh, the fund... Fund the game... Fund the games! Wasn't it like initiative. free... Fun? Yeah, it was like free the games. But free the games, fun the games, whatever. whatever. F FTG is the acronym. Was announced back in July, and basically they were like, "We have a million dollars, and we're gonna fund all your game development. Here are the rules: you okay. need to do a Kickstarter. The Kickstarter has to succeed. The Kickstarter, so at, at, the Kickstarter has to succeed. You have to rake in over fifty thousand dollars for your Oya game." And the game has to be exclusive, not just console exclusive, exclusive to Oya for six months. So it's a pitch to indies, and they have all those requirements, right? Okay, right. so already that's fucking wrong. If they're yeah, trying to do what they're trying just, to do, no. <laughs> they did it fucking wrong. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so everyone pointed that out back in July when they first showed it off. So it started... <clears throat> The end of days. Um, no, sure. um, okay, yeah. Sure. So, so, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I, I did gloss over that detail. So you, you say you succeed with over $50,000. Right. Uh, they will take from that million-dollar fund and meet that. So you now get twice your funding. Okay. I don't know how that made sense at any level to them. Yeah. Right. At all. And I don't know how $50,000 made any sense. I don't know how Kickstarter and six-month exclusivity made any sense. There, there's a lot of layers, but in any case, they announced that plan and they stuck to it. And the first fruits of the grapes of wrath have started sprouting. Um, so they're getting conned. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. One Kickstarter has already succeeded, um, which I can't convey to you how shifty this looks. Um, what is it like? So it's a it, football it, game <laughs> that's using NFL stuff <laughs> right Whoa. it's using what? nfl stuff they're, they're not saying nfl players will be in it but it's using nfl iconography um from what i've seen the video is well shot like it's very well shot it's them talking about how they're going to bring back the arcade goodness of uh, football games of old like nfl blitz and stuff because, you know, if you're going to make a Kickstarter, the best way to succeed is to promise people a golden age <laughs> right, right. coming back. Sell them their own childhood. So, in any case, what then plays is very little footage of the supposed game they're working on, uh, which involves mocap uh, data they took from uh, a Kinect and then put on a 3D model of a football player. And uh, they toss a football around a lot in the office, and then they just talk about the game. And, yeah, it's a rather weak pitch, so no one bit. Because Oya and that lack of, like, there's no twist. This isn't interesting at all. You people don't have enough street cred to command this. 
So uh, they, they succeeded with their Kickstarter. They got $76,000, right? Okay. No one have, bit and they got 76. They have only 128 backers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of the surnames match each uh-huh. other. Somebody basically made a double your money scheme. Yeah. <laughs> With the slight overhead of dealing with um, I mean, dealing with Kickstarter, techni- technically make a game. <laughs> yeah, like they're they're probably going to crap keep out a game. Nice it's going to be terrible, and then people get to keep. I don't know. Each person in the video gets to keep ten grand each. Like on top of the money they put in, they get ten more grand. Nice. Yep. So uh, wow. Okay, we're not there yet. A second one happens. Are you sure? Yeah. We're not there yeah. Yet? So Cause, cause now so it's the Ragnarok second, online double your money scheme going on. The second one happens, and it is. Um, I actually didn't finish watching the pitch for that. I had to do other stuff, but it was also falling into a situation of like it had over fifty thousand dollars. It was about to succeed, and then like. There's a website called kicktrack.com where you can look up a Kickstarter's progress. And both of these matched up pretty well in that there were gigantic fucking spikes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then nothing. Which, you know, even in the real world, as hype crazy as it is. Yeah, that's right. This is taking place in another dimension, basically. (laughs) Right. Um, The the dimension of bullshit. Um, There's a peak, and then it, you know, it ebb and flows from there. Mm. Um, This was like on off like <laughs> twice maybe three times and uh so so they succeeded and uh oya came out and i don't know why they would advertise this they publicly announced that you know they succeeded at getting the fund the games money or free the games money and that they would be getting the payment when the kickstarters ended and then the controversy started kicking up because the indie devs were fucking furious um so what happens at that point is somehow the Kickstarter for that second one, the point-and-click adventure that is about Sherlock Holmes, where you play as Watson instead of Holmes, mm-hmm. um, got suspended. That got suspended somehow, and there's no details on that. Uh, Julie Orman uh, came out and did a blog post basically saying that there's nothing wrong with the system, that nothing bad is going on here, that indie devs shouldn't really have a problem with this and the openness of Oya lends itself to situations like these and it's not their place to say what games can be on their platform because that's what the man would do. Right. So uh, a lot of the major indie devs who've put their stuff on Oya and some of the better selling stuff that has been featured, uh, one of them, one of the more prominent uh, indie devs at least, uh, socially, uh, publicly, on on the comment section of that blog post, just went to town on her, basically, and then publicly announced she's removing her game from Oya, even though it was the best version of that game, because she's completely not okay with that. Huh. And several other uh, indie developers who were almost done porting their game to Oya decided they weren't going to complete that process. Yeah, because it, it it's one th- it's it's their money, right? Right, it's their money, and uh-huh. they can do whatever with it. Right. That's how but, I sit. But they're sitting there saying that, like, "Oh, we're supporting indie developers," when really they're just setting themselves to be conned. And the way they were going about it was a really shit way, anyways. Because the whole point of Oya is not Kickstarter. Those are two dissonant concepts. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it is another thing where if they're being either they know they're getting conned and, and they're trying to act like they aren't, or they. They don't understand that they're getting conned. Either way, I wouldn't put my shit on there because the lights are on, but nobody's in the office and the factory's running by itself. That is some dangerous <laughs> shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's going great. <laughs> yes, it's going, it's going great. Everything's so, fine. So people are pretty fucking furious. I'm amused by this. I'm interested in how this is going to play out in the yeah. indie community. And I'm like, come on, everyone. Everyone, get fucking furious at Oya for being a piece of shit hardware. 
like on the uh, specs level, on the driver level, on the OS level, on the controller level, on the store level, on the support level. Be angry at it for all of these things. And this fiasco on top, be furious. And then everyone, go go develop GP2X Wiz games, please. I, I need <laughs> more games. <laughs> and let's be honest, you're making games for Linux Portable? You're way cooler than that Oya guy. Right? That guy's a shithead. Come on. <laughs> And that's how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know about you two, but... God, sometimes you are so hipster, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't Did know. Did they even make the GP Wiz, whatever a that GP2X is GP2X anymore? Wiz. Um, I'm pretty sure. Here, I'm, where's my phone? I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. You do that. Be sure to use Opera on your phone to look it up. Yeah. To really complete the experience. You know, I was going to mention this. Uh, they changed the, uh, the root... The core of what is running... Oh, wow. That's, did, did I look this up? <laughs> <laughs> like recently? That's weird. In any case, um, it came out... Wow, that was four years ago, huh? <laughs> is there a new version? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, wow, that's annoying to say. Hmm. Kanu. C-A-A-N-O-O. Nice. Wow. Kanu. But actually, that looks like a better design. Kanu I wonder if it actually is. Nikto. Nick, Nick tie. Oh, it, was t- <laughs> it was discontinued in 2011. Damn it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Somebody kickstarted something pretty similar, and I was pretty angry. Yeah. I was like, no! Stop fragmenting the market! In any case... Um, oh, what was that fucker's name? Ross Perot. Anyway. <laughs> did he yell that? No, he, he did that. Oh. Curious about that one. Uh, Ross Perot? Yeah. Uh, Millionaire no. presidential candidate split the Republican ballot. Oh, yeah. See, I, I, <laughs> you know, I knew the first part. I didn't actually. He had know. big ears, and he was yeah. in all that sketches with Pizza Face. Oh, I know that. Yeah, I, yeah. I know that. <laughs> okay. I know that. Just, just trying to find somewhere to put the hook in. <laughs> I just, what, trying to find. Somewhere. What sort of is that? Your catchphrase, <laughs> Doctor Agro. He's trying to find somewhere to put the hook in. And then, then we need that wet app whip cracking sound <laughs> just like that let me <laughs> to, to complete my apparent radio jockey persona <laughs> dr agro <laughs> in the morning <laughs> in the morning I was, i'm just trying to uh taking a shit on your early commute <laughs> i was trying to workshop like a new name for uh what indie hell mm-hmm. so that way we could do stuff that wasn't indie games that was right. just like obscure japanese shit mm-hmm. and my fucking co-worker. He's like total turd takedown. <laughs> now, is this like a flying tackle or, or like two spoons full? Or... I, I, you know, I think he said total turd something else. And I'm like, no, you don't stop there. You, you, you got an alliteration. Right. Total turd takedown. All the way. And then I was just like mystified and dismayed by how it sounded like a, a radio show. Uh-huh. Total turd takedown. You're listening to the total turd. Total turd. Total turd in the morning. <laughs> oh my god, it's a total turd. <laughs> like, and I was just the whole night doing that. He's fucking dying on the floor. And somewhere deep inside, I think I'm fucking angry at him. <laughs> but I just keep doing it because he starts choking. <laughs> I'm sadistic. I'm like trying to make him choke with jokes. Yeah. So that way no one can be like, you killed him. No, I just told funny jokes. That's not murder. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not the first time <laughs> you've tried to do that. Uh, to another James, too. I'm pretty right? consistent. You, I'm like, your name's very, James. Huh? Like, <laughs> dialed in psychosis. <laughs> it's it's uh, very corralled. Yeah. It's, it's, what it's, very specific trauma occurred in your childhood? <laughs> uh, involved clowns. Oh, well, yeah. it doesn't at all. So, yeah. uh, so uh, no comments on that? Well, Agro? yeah, it, it's the Oya. That's what happens when the shit hits the shit. So, <laughs> shit, it's the shit fan. Yeah. Is that a fan it, design? It, it's, just, it's a wet to, plop no, it's noise. Made so. of shit. The fan's made of shit. <laughs> does how it does, turn how on? How does it turn? People turn it with their hands. <laughs> Do they wear gloves? <laughs> no. <laughs> My fan's made of shit. How does it smell? It has no nose. What? <laughs> total shit. <laughs> total turn <laughs> takedown. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
We could do an Oya review show that was called Total Turd Takedown. <laughs> that would oh work. require God. one of the, by the Oya. Produce an entire for that. series of just sifting through the rubble. <laughs> I'm positive we could buy a secondhand Oya for cheap. I'm sure there are a lot of people trying to get rid Who of them. Yeah. Furious, yeah. We could like cl- like get a bunch and raid them together into a decent console. No, we can't. That's how that works, right? <laughs> the over- like we in group percentages and then stack them together. <laughs> See, if the hardware weren't buried under bad drivers and OS bloat, it, it's maybe? called a cluster, Dan. It's oh. not it's not working properly if it's working properly. Mm. <laughs> So on to tiny so, hardware so, that is actually cool. So, so on to yeah. tiny hardware that's actually cool. Um, Sony announced that the PS4, uh, switched uh, it. Uh, the PS4 is coming out in February in Japan. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Agro's face just went that straight. That was a moment of sheer terror. <laughs> Stone cold murderer for a second. Like, no. I waited seven years for this. <laughs> no. Like this, <laughs> not without incident. <laughs> um, so yeah, <coughs> um, hearing random Japanese commenters' reaction was kind of amusing. Yeah, because even one of them poked a hole in uh, Sony's argument. Sony said it had to do with uh, getting software ready in time for the launch. They're like, a lot of the software is developed in the West. Uh, we need time to localize and to cultivate our own software for the PS4's launch. Right. A lot of those games they're talking about are coming out on the PS3 in Japan this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only thing they got away with is Yakuza is coming out day one. Yakuza Ishin is coming out day one on the PS4. I'm like, ah, it's on uh, PS3 and PS4. Yeah, that's right. Right. Nice. Uh, people have been misreporting this as PS3, 4, and Vita, which is not true. That's just remote play and there's a reason I'm doing that conference compression video because... Right. People suck at reporting. So what what you're telling me here uh-huh. is that we're getting a Sony console before the Japanese. Before the Japanese. You know, I, I would feel bad for them, but we've, oh, fuck we've been late on every other one. Right? Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, and let alone Europe. Right? Like, Europe's been so much worse than us. Mm-hmm. Remember the PS3? They waited nine months. Yeah, Jesus. Europe, Europe gets hosed. They and got then... that in June. There's Australia. And then there's Australia. A moment of silence for 90% markups on digital downloads. Crikey. <laughs> nice. That was tasteful. So holy shit. February. Yeah, yeah February. Um, now, the really cool thing, I think this is really neat. Because if you were Japanese, chances and again, are... you're a registered sex offender, so... What? <laughs> Don't even get about that! People on the internet here, Hi, I'm Dan from gigaboots.com. And they're like, yeah, that guy could be it. I think I saw him wear a mustache once. The loudest asshole in the room said it, so I'm naturally going to believe it. Yeah. Right. People. Yeah. Americans. So, what about the so, Japanese? So, their version comes with an extended warranty by a whole year. They get that free uh, support plan that, you know, if you go to the PlayStation store, you can buy a warranty okay. for your PS3. So they get a year added onto their PS4 warranty. Mm-hmm. That's ominous. And <laughs> not really. This hard, this hardware will, will be fine, and you can quote me on that. Um, mm. Actually, we need to get into something interesting about this hardware in just a moment. Okay. But in any case, uh, we'll do it after the news about this uh sony computer entertainment japan thing so mm-hmm. by the end of that if i don't talk about ps4 right hardware let me know so um they get knack for free damn yeah okay i forgot I, I, I they're forgot gonna be pissed <laughs> i just i'm like wow that's cool okay I, and dan being I, the only one here who has to pay for knack hey are you stealing it? <laughs> no, no, I'm wondering, wondering how you're going to get Knack yet. then. <laughs> um, well, Brett's getting Knack too. Oh, yeah. I think it's me and Brett. <gasps> James, not coworker James, other James, pre ordered his PS4. Whoa. And Killzone. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Speaking of which, we got we to gotta make Killzone the game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So when it comes out, you should try the multiplayer so that way we can make Isn't that. Isn't there going to be like, like a lair downloadable day one on the PS4? No. So that I can. <laughs> break my enthusiasm with an iron rod of suck (laughs) okay we need to look at what studios were on that list of sony computer entertainment worldwide studios 
and see which of them, like, research what games they made. <laughs> research which of them is making the new Heavenly Sword, because I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> Wait, found a studio <laughs> called Totally Not Level 5. What's going on? <laughs> is that legal? I have to wonder if... If if they are if they have completely shown away Heavenly Sword too, or if that is just it'd be I a great thing, just like one per launch. It sold <laughs> well enough that and you know it was early launch, so yeah, there aren't many the titles. Other two games on the PS3. <laughs> hey, at that point there were like five. It was incredible. Yeah, because at that it's point, a good thing Warhawk got there. Yeah, yeah, we at that point we had Resistance. A bunch of shit at launch that wasn't even as good as Resistance. Did Motorstorm even make it out yet? Yeah. Yeah, we got Motorstorm in uh, December or January. Um, the Japanese got that at launch. We get t- we got two extra months of polish. Right. Their right. content was so bare. Yeah, I heard it was garbage when it came to Japan. Basically on content thing. I, yeah. I heard other than that, it was effectively the same thing. But um, in any case, so we had Resistance... Other things that launch that don't matter, like Genji. Genji mattered. <laughs> uh, <Uku>. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Motorstorm, Warhawk, Lair, Heavenly Sword, Uncharted came out the month after Heavenly Sword. Actually, no, the same month. That was embarrassing. <laughs> that may have been the same week. <laughs> Man, what a shitty situation. Sony's like, yeah, you're both good to release in November. <laughs> uh, but actually, never mind. Uh, Heavenly Sword came out in October. Yeah, I was like, I saw Heavenly Sword a little earlier. I think a demo for for Uncharted came out in October too, and I'm like, holy shit, <laughs> his pants get wet. Right. What in the world? It was just so, really mm-hmm. awkward few days of shouting at people. Hey, hey, come in the room. I can make this guy wet. <laughs> That's the sort of thing you want to travel around with the display. And, and just be like, hey, check this out. I made this guy wet. What were we talking about? Uh, we, we are talking about uh, how early on in the PS3 life Heavenly Sword was, how few games there were to play that weren't Heavenly Sword. And as such, not only did it sell a good bit over a million copies, which, you know, whoa. Oh, wow. What? Better than most of their titles. Right. Right. Who, Sony? <laughs> no, um... <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Twisted Metal did better than that. Yeah. Now, Starhawk. Starhawk did horribly. Mm. From what I hear, 300,000 or something for like the first <sighs> month. I'm like, oh my God. Damn. Sweet Lord. Doing you know better what? than Wonderful 101, but still. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Is that how many it sold? <laughs> Opening nope. week, 5,000. 5,000. In Japan. 5,000 in Japan. That's. Yeah. I mean, that's... You... I was like, maybe that's good for Japan. Then I looked it up. That's not good. That's no, awful. That's, that's garbage. <laughs> uh, to contrast that against the polar opposite, JoJo's Bizarre, uh, Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle Damn. released in Japan and sold half a million. Right? Like, right out of the gate. When I sell more <laughs> gallons of milk in a week than you do of your video <laughs> game, <laughs> there's, there's a problem. There is a... That is a problem. Why are you selling milk to people? That people is need my... milk, Dan. <laughs> Where are they going to get it? Cows? Psh. Where, where do you get your milk? So, so, <laughs> but you yeah, I think that. Heavenly Sword uh, definitely carries the clout necessary to get a sequel. I'm interested in looking into what Sony Computer Entertainment Worldwide Studios... I wish that acronym was pronounceable. I'm interested in what SKUS uh, studio would be working on a Heavenly Sword 2. Mm-hmm. It would be really nice more. to see that uh, not done by Ninja Series. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Strangely enough. I agree. Um, because next gen, you know, next gen's crazy. We could get a 60 frame per second version of that gameplay. You know, of, here's a lot of physics stuff, here's a lot of large battlefield things, here's a lot of this, and actually run at 60 frames per second and be <clears throat> a good game. We could we could get that. We could just let KG and Fune make it. He's not busy, right? Oh, what's it? Oh, good segue. <laughs> Soul Sacrifice Delta was announced, which is basically a director's cut of Soul Sacrifice, hmm. coming out a year after the original game, adding new things such as a third force in Don't. the game that stays neutral, but apparently, you know, it just gets crazy with three way battles. Hmm. So, so it's Soul Sacrifice again. It's Monster Hunter G. Yep. Thank God. 
Yep. Honestly, the fir- whole first part of that press conference is a little depressing. It was like, here are all of the battle games. These are just yeah. Monster Hunter ripoffs, guys. Um, don't, don't pretend. They they, <laughs> uh, they came up with the theme some time ago to do a larger initiative on Vita because they weren't getting Monster Hunter called the Battle Collaborati- uh, Collaborative Battle Initiative Project. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they showed off all the games that were Monster Hunter clones in a clip reel that had to do with that. And I was like, awesome. there's then, one man behind all of this. I knew <laughs> it. And then there's freaking, it, right after that, it goes straight into Idol Master. I was like, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> really? So here's Bob watching a Japanese conference like, come on, Japan. Stop being so Japanese. <laughs> I need something in between the states and Japan. Do we have an island nation out there? <laughs> I mean, that'd be nice. <laughs> I mean, I can sort of understand that, but I don't know. I was very amused by, what was it? Sweet School Life? No, that was the Otom- That was the Otomate game. Oh, yeah. The Otome games. <laughs> See, they portmanteau mate and Otome into Otome. Yeah, they, they get that pack with freaking uh, H- Hakuoki, Hakuoki and something else. Hakuoki's... Oh, man, I wrote that script i had to google so much shit just to write that script. <laughs> but yeah I, I don't mean, read any of these letters <laughs> i uh, i understand but at the same time it's like jesus please make something other than collaboration battle games as you call them <laughs> uh try ace is making <laughs> a jesus fantasy like, star game right that's that's, that's the uh that was the great like that was pinnacle that was of, it was like fantasy star i'm gonna say it again because aggro was talking yeah no, I'm saying it to you, Agro. Right, right. No, I no, heard you. No, oh. you didn't. Oh. Try Ace. The mm-hmm. people who made Valkyrie Profile mm-hmm. are Star making Ocean. a fantasy star game. Oh, yeah, they also made Star Ocean. Right. So, you know, they are fucking perfect to make a great action RPG. Mm-hmm. It is a little depressing that they're working on Fantasy Star with Sega, so that means it probably will never come here. I don't know. It's got a huge single-player component, and I imagine it's just a collaborative <laughs> battle game. So it's in the same territory gameplay-wise as Ragnarok Odyssey, so it could. Right, I mean, but that, fucking that had to be Project right Diva by... F came over. True. That's the only thing they brought over in months. I know. So but, hopefully but I'm thinking... hopefully at the start of something good. Yeah, Fantasy for for uh context fantasy star online 2 still has not come over and whenever any journalist asks them how that's going they pretend that they don't know where it is they're like no <laughs> like I, we lost it <laughs> no uh, that's uh this guy's job you should contact him and when they do they're like oh no that's not with us that's with oh my god yeah it's yeah. fantastic so either this is just just a very sort of corporate japanese runaround project or that team disappeared. They got like a <laughs> team recruited and they're in a bunker somewhere making it. They come out like we made Skies of Arcadia 3 and 4. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bots. Did they did we even make two yet? You, you guys were supposed to make two while we were doing this. Did you Seriously? Nobody made t- but we have all these scripts. Who was sending these to us? Someone told us to make three and four. <laughs> what does the English word fan fiction mean? <laughs> I thought that's how you guys pronounce Sega over there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what else was announced for the Vita? Well, there's the new model. The new model has oh, yes. one gigabyte of internal storage. Hmm. Why am I synopsizing the, the conference in the middle of this podcast? I don't know. Uh, I, we have a video right? that does that. So I guess we could talk about the new Vita if we wanted to. So we don't. Need so to... there's a picture online of yeah. the LCD and the OLED next to each other. Yeah. Have you seen? Yeah, okay. So, so I feel vindicated for the last three months of podcasts where I fucking kept telling people you don't want a second model Vita. You don't. It's just cheaper. I mean, what gets me down about it is I really want, like, those buttons look nice. You the, mean the, the start, start select, select button I can hit? It. Yeah. <laughs> That's the new one. I kinda, that I sounds kinda... like pussy talk to me, Bob. <laughs> that sounds like quitter talk. Um, I don't know. Like, this is horrible, right? Okay. I, you're right. You're right. The play, the start and select buttons. I disagree on PlayStation. That's perfectly hittable. But yeah, I, I, start I, I don't select. care about PlayStation. Right. It's a start right. and select. The start and select buttons are just that. That was stupid. That was some guy who's trying to make the most high end, aesthetically pleasing portable, and sort of sacrificed a bit of functionality for that. Right. I kind of, I kind of like it. Yeah. This is something about pause. Pause. God damn it. You know, I'm like mashing my thumb into the tiny like. I pause with the PS button. 
Yeah, I, I keep. <laughs> I, I know that in my head, right? Right. And I'm like I, I didn't. And then maybe in a in an individual PlayStation, I pass thinking that. Well, I gotta start we'll pausing in video games to see what it does. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new world. <laughs> you hit the start button. Now time for B side. Hey, it's Crazy Taxi. Hey, it's Total Turd Takedown. Oh my god! I, I want to feel it because I want to know how. Or I, someone that has like rubberized back to it, and I it, mean, it's thinner. I want to see how that feels. I have to tell Bob likes his women thinner with a rubberized back. Huh. That's a, he, he told me this once. That's a very, He's, very corralled psychosis you got there. He said huh. he would always deny it in public if asked about it, but that uh, it was completely Bob, true. Bob, is this true? I... I mean, I said I would deny it, apparently. That's... <laughs> why would I say that? Wow, he's even forgotten it. To right? add an extra layer of security. He told me he would do stuff like this. <laughs> just to protect his secret How love. do you rubberize a woman's back? Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about... Let's not get into the process. <laughs> uh, let's talk about they no longer have a proprietary cable on that Vita. Thank God. Yeah. That was the, that was yeah. the other really good thing about it. And, that and it's one. genius that they're using... Uh, what is it? Mini... No, it's micro USB. It's genius they're using micro USB because it's just like, f fuck yeah. I mean, not only does every charger on the face of the planet for an Android phone use micro USB and thus Sony's own phones, mm -hmm. but more importantly than that, their consoles, PS4 at least, will have micro USB as well. So, huh. yeah. Hold on. I didn't know they were switching over to that. And everybody's switching over. It's just cheaper to manufacture. I, I right. think it's a given. Mm -hmm. Um I can't say. Yeah, I, I know 100 percent for a fact that they are. But yeah, it just makes sense. Their uh, their ecosystem is all open now. It's not proprietary. Right. So it I makes mean, makes sense to move the cable over. What kills me about that is they were selling for the power cords. Mm. You have to buy the part that goes to the Vita separate from the power cord part. Yep. That's insane. Especially when you charge 25 bucks for the power cord part, and then it's like another 10 bucks for the Vita part. Yep. Jesus. Um, they charged yeah. it like, well, I mean, let's break this down. They charged it like uh, iPhone and Android chargers. Well, really just iPhone because it's a proprietary charger cable for their own platform. And they were like, we can get away with this. Um, that's part one. And they were wrong. But, well, <laughs> no, they can because if you're fucking power, fuck you, mm -hmm. buy a new one. Um, sticking that aside. Um, building something that takes a DC or an AC uh, signal power supply from your outlet and turns it into a USB <laughs> charger hub um, and then making a cable separately is just like how a lot of this is done nowadays like it's a very good idea to separate those two elements so it's kind of in a sense better than the PSP situation because in a sense your power cable that same power cable is going to work on the next Vita and it'll work on phones and it'll work on anything that can take a USB charge so you know, at least there's some utility out of that. You know, it's not, no, this whole cable, which is $35, <laughs> only works on your Vita. Fuck off. So it's your, it's your USB cable to hook it up to your computer, which, you know, a USB cable can do that. But you can look at it as it's your USB cable to hook it up to your computer and your charger, and it works on other things. I've charged my iPhone off of it, so it's nice. Because I don't exactly want to carry this tiny little white cube with me everywhere. <laughs> Be like, this is, this is for you. <laughs> this is my snack, and then I eat it. Wait, this wasn't the mint. <laughs> um, Probably should have noticed this before swallowing. <laughs> yes, I'm just full of many bad decisions. But uh, yeah, so I think that's really cool that they did that. They also announced a 64 gigabyte Vita memory card. I mm. didn't even think it was possible because right. 32 gigabytes is where the limit is at for most 32-bit. Uh, um, actually, I don't think it's 32. I think it's weird. But in any case, fat thir it's 24-bit, but fat 32 caps out at uh, 32 gigabytes. So I was thinking that they just hard coded into the OS since that's all we had at launch. Mm. This high end limit of yeah, well, fuck you. <laughs> it's it's thirty two gigabytes. That should be fine forever. What's a digital future? I don't What's know. a digital future? Where are margins? I don't understand why we made this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I just remembered something about Yakuza. Agro might be interesting. Yakuza in. Ishi. Yeah. Continue. You seem to play as Hajime Saito. Hajime Saito. Seriously? Yeah. 
Okay, last time I saw Yakuza game, it was modern day Tokyo. Oh, yeah. It's still it, that, but you're running around as Hajime Saito. <laughs> no, no. And you're busting yeah, dudes up with your gun arms. <laughs> He's lying. It's sounding better and better, Bob. You got a high hurdle to clear. It's called oh, no. Yakuza Dororororo. <laughs> 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 so, Bob? Yeah. It's not any of that. It's a historical <laughs> uh, game set in. The right before Meiji and, and, started, and, and you're playing as Hajime Saito, right? In, in a game about Yakuza, right? You actually you seem to play as a guy who switches sides and pretends to be or joins and pretends to be Hajime Saito. <laughs> That's a dangerous fucking game. They're going with he. Uh, it, what it seems like they're going with is that he is his made up name is Hajime Saito, hmm. and it, he's entering the Shinsengumi that way. Yeah. But he's also on the other side of the conflict. It was weird. It's, yeah, it sounds like they're really incorporating the history into it and uh, embellishing like crazy. Yeah, because it was originally some guy who got killed during the or right before or by okay. the Shinsengumi. Hey, spoilers! So, so Spoil- are you Hajime Saito? <laughs> yes, probably, probably, <laughs> probably. You you really better hope you are because if that motherfucker finds out <laughs> what you're doing, I I have to wonder if. Uh, yeah, you better hope you are. <laughs> I have to wonder if, uh, like, Yakuza Ishin on the PS4 is really going to move units. Like, it might. I I mean, I mean Yakuza is always doing well Oh, yeah, there. But, but, like, that extra layer of, like, buy this $400 console so you can play Yakuza. Even better. Well, here's the thing. They could be like, and, and, check this out. Come over here. I got some, I got my new stuff. And this is called Rainbow Fly. <laughs> um, in any case, no. Uh, they could be like, and, if you get it on the PS4. It's portable on your Vita via remote play. And then that's when the Japanese businessman starts welling up tears, right? He okay. starts welling up and he's like, like Monster Hunter. And then Sonny goes, yeah, like Monster Hunter. Damn, all they would really need to do mm-hmm. is be like on the PS4 version, you get two different of these pop idols that you can also oh, no. hit on. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing to add. <laughs> just, just, just wanted, wanted to get really close to it. No, it's okay. Come, I come always here. feel like I was part of the group. Yeah, you are. You are. You're really one of us, Agro. Man, what's up with the Japanese monster? <laughs> it's it's a little scary. Uh, every time I think it, I'm like, religion. oh my god, is is Monster Ranch really popular? No, no, Monster Hunter. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. You'll you'll get something out of this if you get all four endings on Kagero. Which I'm going to say that wrong for the rest of my life, except for in a video review of the game. I'm going to keep calling it what I called it when I was eight years old. Mm-hmm. In Kagero. Mm-hmm. Um, if you get all four endings, you get Suezo as a trap from Monster Rancher. Baller. Yeah. I was like, what? I'm going to play this game forever. <laughs> and then he did. <laughs> Three more playthroughs just to get the thing and ten more after that. <laughs> <laughs> I found out, uh, you play the game right, you take no hits. Damn. Just dude walks in a room, you're like, kish, 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 and then you move to the next room so they can chain that. It's 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 exhilarating when you do it like that, because so, like, you get a huge bonus when right. you... Yeah. What are they going to make the sequel where like you catch the guy and then lecture him on morality and shit, and then let him go, now crippled and deformed? I don't know. But... And he comes back to help you build more traps. Well, there there is... Uh, a new Kagero game announced for the uh, Vita. Yeah. So maybe we'll see that. What else did they announce? Is it called Trapped? Vita? Tecmo Koei announced a, a, a Warriors game of some sort. Was it Warriors of Rochi 2 or Samurai? Um, it was Samurai Warriors 4. That's oh, right. Oh, yeah. That's that was right. announced a little while back. Mm. Yeah. Well, for the Vita, they announced Samurai Warriors 4. I thought they announced Good it for that fashion blacksmith. Whatever. It was... If if it was announced, <laughs> if that was a thing, they have re-announced Maybe it, it was a leak before. I don't know. Something. I was. I remember reading a while ago saying, "Hey, Samurai Warrior Four is coming. It's coming." So fucking chill. I'm. I would really like to see that series get the uh, the next gen or current gen even treatment, but it's been yeah. delegated to the Wii for yeah, so long because that's where the money was at, right? Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I wonder if the PS4 is going to do anywhere near as well in Japan. Hmm. As it is here because this is crazy this is the most playstation happy people have been since about i don't know four years into no like three years into ps2 
Like I've never seen so people, so many people universally like PlayStation's where it's at since then. Because you know the PS3 happened. Right. And yeah. by the second half of that generation, people were like, "This Xbox is pretty cool. It has Halo." Throws back a Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm like, here's you your Doritos. Wash down Doritos. <laughs> That's right. Wash, wash it down with Doritos? <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 Doritos uh, uh, liquid ranch flavor. It's, uh, it's a Doritos bag with a bottle of ranch inside. Like, in a like pop a, top. A whole Power separate, the players. Uh, a whole separate <laughs> bottle? Or yeah. just the contents of a bottle? No, 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 there's a whole Hidden Valley Ranch bottle. <laughs> That could get dangerous. It, it, it's like Hidden Valley Ranch Mountain Dew Code Red flavor. Bob. <laughs> this is getting so <laughs> terrible. It doesn't stop, Bob. It never stops. <laughs> These gears, they keep turning. So anyway. What did you uh, think of the new Dynasty Warriors on PS4, Dan? Uh, it looked like it was running at 60 frames per second. Which, of course, I can't show anyone because by the time that footage... Well, actually, it's resampled. So if you look on YouTube, you can see it looks like 64, 60 frame per second footage that has been resampled. Right. Um, yeah. Because I'm excited most over Most people that, that aren't you are going to be able to do yep. that. They'll know. Well, right? I mean, you can look at that footage and go, this looks smooth. <laughs> I do have that ability, yes. I, yeah. I, I can go to a computer I, and do that. We're just going to end this. It won't mean the same thing. We're going to end this tangent it. with you can do that. You can do it. Power to the players. <laughs> power, to the, power to the players. Pre order at GameStop. <laughs> Doritos flavored Master Chief. He we does. have to save the galaxy, but I'm so delicious. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, Chief, don't do it. Oh. Cortana, I love you. I guess that's a thing now. I'm not even whatever. Is, is Cortana now Mountain Dew? I don't know. Cortana is now Mountain Dew flavored. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. I just had a horrible. I don't want to know. Okay, so. Mo- <laughs> I, th- um, that reminds me of that it, thing it, that came up last week with Kojima. Yeah. Um, he tweet something about how he's making one of the characters sexy quiet yes quiet okay and then shows a super zoom of her ass with uh what do they call that <laughs> stockings <And they're laughs> torn right yeah and like it, they're torn but there's like a structural scene to it that isn't torn so perfectly in the middle of that tear there's like a string to hold the ass in to show you how supple the ass is <laughs> i'm like good one kojima Anyway, that's you, uh, a, he's a classy you, gentleman. You thought about this a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> the, what I was getting to is apparently some designers from Halo. Yeah. Came, yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. I know. Okay, tell him. <laughs> they, a designer from Halo came in and said how that was objectifying women and terrible, and they shouldn't do that. And the worst character design he'd ever seen, I believe, was also a hyperbole he tossed out there. Okay, I must have missed that one. Uh, but, hmm. And he made Cortana... In the new one, right? Which is fucking awesome. the most ridiculously sexualized Cortana we've had. Right, I like seeing those charts of whoa, whoa what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're just OS upgrades, guys. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you know, Master Chief's like, I'm gonna go into stasis so I can wait while this downloads the new <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, like, think about Windows. There you go, Th- think Master about the Chief. Task bar. It Mas- just keeps getting sexier. Master Chief <laughs> is a PS3 gamer. He's used to waiting. <laughs> <laughs> um. Man, yeah, it, that was just that was amazing. That whole th- I just did, don't even want to touch that conversation. Right, that tangent. But did you get to uh, read all the analysis of people who actually got to see him play uh, some of Phantom Pain? Or mm-hmm. no, pe- I know that was uh, a thing. I didn't read it because they're it, it, like I I'm gonna sound like an asshole. They're incompetent. The whole lot of them. I that's... don't trust them to tell me how a game runs because they can't tell the difference between thirty and sixty. They can't. Yeah, they tell actually think about a great deal of facets of a game, so I don't. <laughs> this is why I don't watch or read reviews because people right. are fucking wrong. I mean, game trailers are sitting there. There are no boats. <laughs> no boats. <laughs> right, right next to one. Yeah. But in any case, so that that happened. Yeah, the, but yeah. there were some actual details announced. Like this is they show them the current gen version, which runs at thirty frames, but the next gen version they show off at TGS next week. And that'll run at sixty. Um, but yeah, what they sh- they did talk about some of the mechanics and things like marking enemies and that sort of thing. And they were like, it's like Splinter Cell. I was like, well, that's not like Splinter Cell. That's like, I don't know, any other game where you can mark enemies. Because Splinter Cell, you mark them and then you can instant kill them. That's not what you can do in this. You can t- right. pull out your binoc- binoculars and mark mm-hmm. where enemy locations are. And yeah. Yeah, I was like, okay, whatever. 
Um, <laughs> okay, sure, Konami. <laughs> Deal. You're, you're hip. Um, but yeah, some new stuff about how being caught works. Like apparently, you get a small section or a sec or a few seconds of slow mo to stop the guy before he sounds the alarm on you. Uh, some some nifty cool. stuff there. That's neat. Oh, that's kind of cool. I was like, I, I wish I saw this, so I didn't have to just get it siphoned through these weird things of it's like assassin's creed now it's like it's not like assassin's creed now so about how i started this tangent of the conversation i <laughs> like, don't trust these fucking idiots i honestly like i don't know how like i read the whole thing nothing about it sounded like assassin's creed at all well see he was moving around an area that was inhabited by people okay and he could turn the camera Oh, whoa. And he can move on top of things. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Uh, it's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> uh, also, they seem to have some weird things about what, not sure what open world really means. And yeah, that, that's such a vague term. I don't know what they're expecting. Like they, some guy was like expecting quests and stuff. And I was like, that's weird. All right. <laughs> I would totally <laughs> want a quest-based Metal Gear as no, long that's Peace as Walker. <laughs> every time it's it's as epic as the trailer for for <laughs> this isn't an order from Washington. <laughs> every fucking time you go to a quest, oh, a hired hit. Bring me five wolf tails. I know hero. <laughs> Never was. Never will be. Snake! Kotokodai Snake! You know what fucking turned it in? Ah, it's been a long time. <laughs> So anyway, that would be the best game ever. Yeah, yes. we're still. Don't, are we still? Don't, 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 we can stop doing that. This is also an option available to us. The future is open. The, our ticket to the future is blank, so they won't let us on the train. <laughs> <laughs> um. So about that Dynasty Warriors eight. Yeah. Extreme Legends. Seven. Here in the states, they're, they're extreme. You got no, that back. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, but it's Dynasty Warriors Eight. Extreme yep. Legends is what they showed off, and um, yeah, I want to buy that. I'll probably buy that. What makes these legends bring... extreme? Oh, um, Do Mountain Dew. Doritos. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, he's attacking from the rear with flavor. And uh, Frito burritos. <laughs> For... Did you get to try that while that was the thing? No. What they stuck Fritos. In like flaming, fra- flaming Frito. Oh, know? those it things, yeah. Now, like yeah. my my concept of Frito is always scoops now, so I'm like, I okay. that sounds awesome. So when I say Frito, you think Tostitos. No, I think Frito scoops. Oh, I forgot that was a thing too. Yeah, yeah, they're the awesome. scoops. Huh? Yeah, not that like, like tiny they're taco fucking, salad yeah, bowl they're things. Yeah, they're like fucking. Enormous. Huh. I mean, not this big. I don't have. I don't have a smaller hand to gesture with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, where would Dan even have a smaller hand? Hmm. I've discovered the only circumstance where Dan whipping his dick out isn't the biggest problem at the moment. Uh, they they announced Gunbreakers coming to the Vita. Yeah, that's so that's, that's neat. Cool. That's I really cool. They, I wish they'd bring that over here. That was really fun. I honestly, I I'm writing up this uh, uh, synopsis of the conference, and I'm explaining to people what Gundabrigger is because I run with the assumption that people watching this don't know. Um, and then I and then I go, yeah, that was fun. Too bad nobody tried that. Wait, that didn't. Did that come to? This? I forget if Bob pulled that off the Japanese store. <laughs> what? God, that was fun. Mm-hmm. Damn it! Why? Yeah, that was it? really fun. Were you there for that? I played it. Was he there for that? I, don't I think know. he's. I, there are a lot of Gundam games. You're probably thinking of a different one. Um, it was a PS3 game where you Save played title as again? Gundam Breaker. I was hearing Gunbreaker. Oh, no. Gundam Breaker. Okay, yeah. No, I didn't play that. Yeah, so yeah. you play as a Gunpla, you know? Right. That sounds awesome already. Yeah. And then there are uh, yeah, you... a much more accurate to scale Gunpla, like... Oh, shit. Ten, or uh, what? It, yeah. One to ten? Yeah, you play yeah, you like one like to the one hundred. Yeah, you just, play the one thirty seconds. Uh huh. And, and then, then you steal their parts, and you can make them. It just like shows up, and it's like Wing Gundam, 
custom grain. <laughs> oh shit, Super 5. Yeah, it's just like, this is, that's so perfect. Like, they, they know exactly what they were doing with that. They also announced they're making a new Mobile Suit Gundam game for PS4. Yeah, that's I'm, all they said, though. I, you know, that's probably up. better than showing oh, yeah, that definitely. crazy CG and then being like, uh, well, this is We Gundam know what Crossfire. Gundams look like. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> and we know this one won't look this good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then the PS Vita TV. We'll cap it off with that. No, like deep down talking? No, talking about deep Talk down. about deep down. Deep down looked pretty cool. What which, do you think? which is leagues ahead of what I thought Deep Down was going to look like. Like like the the gulf between what like that <laughs> what? Tech demo that they pretended was gameplay and and the Deep Down videos we're getting really not as wide as I thought it was going to be. Right. right? Me neither. I think alarming. everyone assumed that was going to be completely I, fake. I, I uh, now assume that, that that gulf is going to widen as we get farther into that game's production. <laughs> I just I was a little stupefied that dra- it wasn't it didn't look like Dragon's Dogma's tech you know yeah i mean it's just at a tech level i expected dragon's dogma to be the engine that it was built on and yeah I, I just from that initial thing i didn't really get as much of dragon's dogma vibe as most people did i guess I oh mean, i'm pessimistic i assume every game is monster hunter until <laughs> guilty mean, until proven innocent with we're making I a should... new buster move uh, it's probably monster <laughs> bob you you played dragon's dogma right yes. you, you, you played to the end uh-huh okay i heard about wait, a wait 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 are we spoiling Stuff on the co- podcast? No. Okay. N- n- nothing story related. Okay. I heard about a thing where in Dragon's Dogma you can like romance any character you want. Oh, technically that's possible. But the metric for deciding which character you're doing that to is broken. Uh huh. Because it counts you talking to a character as upping your romance level. <laughs> right. So, in the end, who you're having sweet, sloppy makeouts with is entirely dependent on who you talk to the most. Yeah. <laughs> Usually a shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> or some tiny mustachioed midget I keep seeing pictures of. <laughs> this is all capable. This is all possible. <laughs> they, I believe That's Capcom Community. fantastic. <laughs> posted a guide on how to get romance this old man that you only see like twice in the whole game. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's just I, I kept seeing forum posts of people like, "How do I fix this? What went wrong? <laughs> what, what did the game see in my playstyle choices that led it to believe I was down for this?" Yeah, I didn't hear about that system until way late, so I was like, "Oh, let not can't change too... anything now." <laughs> I'm gonna start going to that other shop where the redhead sells shittier items. <laughs> so the PS Vita TV. PS Vita TV is a tiny, tiny device about the size of an external hard drive. You know, a laptop size external hard drive. Yeah, it looked about like original iPod size. No, it's longer, but eh, whatever. Close enough. Close enough for... Close enough. <laughs> a little right. bit smaller than a DS? I don't know. No, it's it's thinner than that. It's a really fucking small thing. What object in this room is exactly the size of that fucking thing? In any case, um, it has Vita hardware in it, which means it can play Vita games, PSP games, and PS1 games straight off the hardware. And because Remote Play is programmed with the Vita's hardware in mind, mm-hmm. or the Vita has a program to decode that stream, optimized for it, um, it can serve as a Remote Play station for your... A remote PlayStation. <laughs> to, to play your PS4 games over remote play. Uh, or as they're phrasing it, actually, it may just be NeoGAF people phrasing it this way, but over Gaikai. Like yeah, I, don't, I haven't heard Sony I, actually. I, I, it'll beam that shit to the cloud. I've then. heard Sony refer to local remote play as Gaikai, you know, via Gaikai technology. And I'm just like, Though true, yeah, <laughs> their trick was doing it over the internet, guys. <laughs> that was way more impressive. But in any case, um, so uh, it does a trick that no Sony portable. You having fun with that chair there? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Bob perched upon his chair. Um, it's done a trick that no portable from Sony has done. It's and white. That's uh, no. It's not portable. Vita's white twice. Yes, oh. it's not portable. Good job. You win. <laughs> Um, it, you can hook two controllers up. You can hook a controller up, which only happened on the PSP Go. 
Right. Um, and you can hook two controllers up to play PS1 games, two hmm. player. Nice. I wonder if we'll get that functionality for the Vita. No. No. This <laughs> Actually, no. I, I, there's no reason we shouldn't be getting DS, uh, DualShock 4 compatibility for the Vita. I don't know what they're thinking. Honestly, to code it into the PS Vita TV, they might have to just incorporate that into the OS. And at that point, there is no reason not to. Yeah, I was going to say, because I was seeing DualShock 3s with this thing. Are we going to... Think about this. Er, fuck that. Um, <laughs> don't think. Listen. <laughs> the PS4 doesn't come out till February. They want this product to sell in November. Right. So it has to be compatible with, compatible with both. Mm. It's going to be able to play PS4 games, and it thus has to be compatible with the PS4 controller. Right. So, yeah, it's compatible with both. And, of course, the oh, promo right. video is showing off a lot of DualShock 3 because they right. need Japan to know that they can buy it. I, just, right. I wouldn't put a password to go, you, you know, you can use this thing to play your PS4 on any other TV in your house as long as it's within the uh, uh, normal range of your DualShock 4 controller because that shit's not going to work. <laughs> um, <laughs> which, uh, that, is, that is the function I'm super excited about. Which Being able to just take that thing to another room in my house and play my PS4. I honestly, I'm interested in the uh, prospect of doing a localized party. Like, you know, just... <laughs> Why are you perched on that? I'm just... my, my legs are not I'm lighting sitting in this. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> We've gone one te- step too far into this territory. Um, nice printy bag over there, by the way. It I is. just keep looking at it. I'm like, I'm going to steal you. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, so I would like to throw a shindig and then get people to remote play on the Vita TVs their PS4s that are at their house. I'm curious how the hell mm. that perform. sounds like a, a recipe for disaster. On your internet connection, fuck yeah. <laughs> on mine, maybe not. What maybe about not. mine? <laughs> Ooh. Your your internet connection just is a recipe for this. <laughs> you know they uh, upped it out there. Go talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. Zach was telling me about it. It's uh, it's good now. Go yeah. talk to them about it. Yeah. You 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 keep saying that. I I've seen this before. People oh, who I... live there say like, oh no, it it totally better now, and then they just keep grinning. And they then they never stop grinning. I mean, Zach, he's not gonna bullshit you on that. The guy was using his phone at certain points as his motive for the love of God, and yeah. that costs a bazillion dollars. Did he but say I, when this magical transformation occurs? Yeah, it. it uh, <clears throat> he, he he looked at the motor box, held it aloft his wand, and said, "Be be 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 be." Oh, is that it? Shit. That was written on a little slip of paper with my modem, but I just, I thought it was oh, come on. random network bullshit. That's fucking obvious. Well, it did auto <laughs> set up, so I figured it was good. It did auto set up. You know what else did? The Nazis? My dick. Oh. That does mean I shouldn't help. <laughs> just because things are going to take wow. care of themselves doesn't mean you shouldn't go for the hands-on approach. Or the ma- magical schoolgirl route, I guess. Um, but I don't. <laughs> I love that. Dan? What? Do, do you have a technique you refer to as the magical schoolgirl? Or are you, in fact, involving no, you... a magical schoolgirl? No. See, much like you yell the pee 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 at the right. uh, modem, uh, at the end of doing stuff uh-huh. you just yell magical school girl and you're done okay that's all you do um l- l- let me tell you about an organization i've heard about uh yeah. it's called the nsa <laughs> and um when they hear you don't worry ass, don't do worry that. i won't have an xbox one it'll be fine they have lists bro <laughs> this list tells them what you're saying at all times okay moving on um is dragons you're deep down you want um, All you said it was, it, <laughs> it was we're like, not going to talk about that. No, Bob. Okay, fine. You talk about it. It's a game. It was just that one thing that was worth <laughs> mentioning. Like, wow, this wasn't a complete fabrication, right? It's not Dragon's Dogma. Hi, it's Dark Souls. Awesome. But it seems to have some aiming for the hitting or strikes, which is nifty. different <laughs> from Dark Souls. <laughs> you know, anything to make it different from Dark Souls, please. Bob is not a fan. <laughs> no, sir. Hmm. Um, and four-player co-op sounds yeah. like it's actually going to work 
like a typical co-op game, not like some bizarro Dark Souls, Dark Souls stuff. thing. Right, you but know, like that's... That little bit of co-op that they, they showed was a bunch of people working together to fight a dragon. That's not how co-op's going to work in, in a Souls-esque uh, dungeon crawl. <laughs> it's, this, cooperation's not really the name of the game when you're fighting over loot. Right. In, in a us... dark dungeon full of traps and monsters where anything could have happened when no one was looking. <laughs> and it has randomly generated rooms yeah. and loot and monsters, apparently. Yeah, yeah apparently so a lot monsters of... are going to be a little procedural. So that's really neat. Yeah, I really like that. That things. sounds like it could be a great game. It's being developed by uh, Capcom Online Games, which is them doing marketing bullshit, throwing <laughs> a bunch of people together, and then calling it something else. So that way their investors get a boner. Right. Man, I wish it were Dragon Dogma 2, though. That would have been amazing. Yeah. With actual uh, I'm, player. In- I'm interested in seeing more <laughs> different things. It, it checks is nice your save file, more... and you are stuck. With your romance <laughs> option from the first game. God damn it! Stop following me! <laughs> You're so short! How do you keep up? Well, you can do like that kid in, uh, I think it was Oblivion, who started following you around after you won some arena tournament. You just take him out in the water and let him drown. Wow. Huh. Yeah, That's it was, messed it, up. It was bad. <laughs> Not a bad plan, though. Yeah. Pretty effective. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't mind even say. Drown him. Super effective? So a lot of Pokemon news came out. Oh yeah, a lot of Pokemon. I heard about that. A lot of Pokemon news. Ten fucking Mega Evolutions, like a huge amount of Mega Evolutions were shown off, and I didn't, I didn't really like any of them. I was. I'm, still, mega evolutions I, have been I'm going. still sitting here like, guys, please stop taking first gen Pokemon, which had an artistic <laughs> style and aesthetic to them that was very different, and turning them into anime. Yeah, I just, I, I should be looking at these Mega Evolutions because in my head, whenever I think of a Pokemon's Mega Evolution, I just. That mane they gave Ampharos, I just keep putting that on a Pokemon. Gengar is thus far my favorite. Because <laughs> he really just, he looks like Mozart. Uh, if you include, Same expression. If you include the shades, I would say Squirtle wins. Because nice. you got a Squirtle or a Wartortle. Either one. Dragonite Stick would do some really shades well. on it. Oh my god. Was... Uh, Muck or Trubbish would be amazing with that hair. I was disappointed that they're even showing this many beforehand. Like, I really didn't want to see the the new starters mega evolution before I even started. That was weird. Yeah, they did show that really early. Yeah. Um, now, the, uh, even more surprising was a second Mewtwo one. Uh huh. I actually and a little bit more okay with another this one. mega. Yeah. Yeah, it's Mega Mewtwo X, and right. it is exclusive to Pokemon. We, X. we skipped Ultimate if we seriously are just ripping off Digimon now, because <laughs> it, it, it's Ultimate Mega, then like Combat Mode or. You gotta fuse and do some armor in there somewhere. Or some. What? They had um, stuff. What else? Uh, the type chart. Oh, they was really sad. I didn't see yeah. that. It's a type chart. I'm not about to list it. Well, all. yeah, plus, but, but plus did, it was in Japanese. Oh, okay. I was uh, they say. changed some resistances. Yeah. Um, goal. A ghost is no longer weak against. Uh, Oh man, it was such a weird. It was such a weird one that I looked at it. I was like, okay, that probably means a lot, but I don't. I can't crank this out in my head. They're right. like a bazillion Pokemon. How the fuck am I gonna work that math out for 649 assholes? Is grass Is awesome yet? I don't know. I didn't actually see a whole lot relative to grass. Hmm. Yeah, just something about ghost and steel or some. Hmm. It was weird. <laughs> Oh, I think that Ghost was invincible with Steel before. Maybe they changed that. Let me, let me just look it up. It's in my Twitter feed. Solar hopefully. Beam is now basically Gen 1 Hyper Beam. <laughs> We're sorry for four generations of shame and degradation. <laughs> Seriously, I love grass types, and whoever designed the metagame can eat my dick. I'm sure First Gen really designed the metagame. <laughs> My meta game. It's like okay. meta cooler. What do we got? Steel has lost its ghost and dark type resistances. Fairy resists fighting bug dark. It's immune to dragon, weak to steel and poison. Wow. Yeah. Whoa, immune to dragon? Jesus. Yeah. yeah Talk fairy, about balancing. Fa- fairy is fairy like, is, hit it with a club. That's fairy what's is up. like violent chiropractitioning. <laughs> it's just punch you in the back, yeah. pretend it's better. The wheel keeps turning. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's cool. So now that the floodgates of... Uh, that's really cool. Oh my god. Fairy. Yeah. Like, 
Now, now that fairy type exists, what what other insane types can we start adding per game? Um, Sound type was rumored for a while. Blue raspberry. I have a bone to pick with blue raspberry. Okay. Because, you know, it's really quite simple. I yeah. now think that raspberry, sh- like that flavor, <laughs> I associate with blue, because these fuckers are like, well, we already have cherry and strawberry, and they're both red, so we'll make it blue raspberry. And it was it was everything. Mm-hmm. Everything was, this is bullshit. Mm-hmm. I had a raspberry, and I'm like, huh, it tastes kind of blue. Man, I'm <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> really now, gra- glad those uh, cranberry raspberry juice mixes aren't blue. <laughs> that would just be awkward. <laughs> Not no, of these juices that, are blue. <laughs> that wouldn't be awkward. When you, when you, when you use the restroom later, that, that would oh be awkward. God. I, I really I need I need I need Gatorade bottles to start coming with a little tab that I can pull off and put on the back of my hand to remind myself <laughs> when I go to the bathroom that I just had a lot of Gatorade because <laughs> I, I I spit in the toilet I do every time I go to the bathroom it's, I'll spit in the toilet and sometimes it's red and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I thought you were gonna say you drink the blue Gatorade and that. Well, they introduced a blue flavor. I don't know which one. Eventually, that did the same thing as the Blue Mountain Dew. <laughs> um, and, I'm oh, leaving it, and I'm leaving it at that. Um, so, yeah. Pokemon News was announced at this Sony Tokyo Game Show. Pre- <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I don't think there's any more news we need to cover here from the conference. You're right. Uh, we're going to skim past Pokemon. Um there was something else I really wanted to... You guys were supposed to remind me to talk about... It was something about PlayStation, about, oh, PlayStation 4, 4 hardware. hardware. So here's the thing. And this is interesting, I think, in general, not just to me. In, Intel owns x86 as an architecture, right? AMD right. gets to make those processors by licensing it from Intel. Hmm. And that's because of some bullshit that happened a long time ago. It's weird. <laughs> right. That's how most society set up. <laughs> that's yeah that's a good point um because of this all of the chips in the ps4 and xbox one because they're x86 have to be literally manufactured have to be actually manufactured by amd and then sold to them they can't license the design out hmm. because you can't license a design that involves x86 because you didn't license the ability to license designs. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so AMD's making all the deals with the foundries to produce these chips. AMD's then selling it to Sony and Microsoft at various prices, depending on what they can get it for. Mm-hmm. That's just weird. <laughs> um, I have to wonder then if... No, that shouldn't prevent Sony from doing some cool level of engineering on the processor. I mean, they've already engineered it a good bit but um what i'm what i'm getting at is a uh, 3d printing for them to put a uh, die on die tech in there um apparently the vita like the the chip the chips in the vita you know how they have plus at the end and it's like what's that stand for oh it means sony did stuff um <laughs> yeah that's all they've said they're like oh it's just a sony custom version okay what they do we can't talk about that <laughs> um apparently and i missed this there was a tear apart of the Vita where they took out everything and then they tried to find the RAM in it and right. they couldn't. And because <laughs> that's because it is literally its own die on top of the processor. So it has a direct interconnect, which is huh. pretty awesome huh. because um, as far as I know, that's one of the very few instances of that currently existing. Um, it's been talked about forever. Um, the term we use for it, I believe, is TSVs, which is something. Um, it's uh, three words. Hooray! <laughs> um, which is basically you have vertical pipe to churn data in between the two processors is what it is. It's really cool. Um, I can't believe somebody came out with this shit already because <laughs> Intel was talking about, yeah, we turned our transistors vertical so we can now put more transistors on it. 3D printing. Down the road, we'll be able to put a GPU directly on top of the CPU and cross-communicate at all these different areas on the two processors. And I'm like, wow, that's neat. I'm still waiting for that. 
when's that coming? And then turns out the Vita has a <laughs> similar, it's not the same, but a similar tech mm-hmm. in it. And that's fucking cool. Yeah. That's fucking neat. That explains why that thing can do such pretty stuff that is way better. Like, drivers already explained a good bit of why the Vita's prettier than an iPhone 5. But, you know, this... Okay, Samsung TV. <laughs> I get it. I should move on. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. Yeah. No okay. one cares. Oh, You're no. not a person. <laughs> Stop making <laughs> declarative <laughs> statements with personal pronouns. It's creepy. It is creepy. Why, why is Samsung being like that? Why are you so, going to be like that, Samsung? So, yeah, the Vita, prettier graphics and stuff than the iPhone. Right. Not the least of which it's drivers, but also thanks to that. And as a segue, the iPhone 5S and 5C were announced. At this huge thing. So, Bizarre. basically, every year, mm-hmm. they take the current model, like the 4, and they make it $100 cheaper, mm-hmm. and then they come out with the 4S. And that's now $200 with a two-year contract. Okay. They've been doing this forever. So the 5C is the iPhone 5, Mm -hmm. but it comes in polycarbonate, not metal, and in colors. Hmm. Exact same hardware, just they made it out of plastic because it's way cheaper. And people, no joke, have been harassing them to get phones in colors, which they're like, we give you a phone made out of metal that feels nice, and the first thing you say is, I want blue. (laughs) (laughs) You fucking idiot. But in any case, so... By case. So the 5C is $100 instead of 200 like the 5 was last year, hmm. and is made of plastic. Hmm. The 5S is the awesome god beast that we usually get, which is two times the processor and two times the graphics performance, um, along with a slew of upgrades, not the least of which it's a 64-bit phone. The OS, the hardware, everything, the whole stack, 64-bit. You can make 64-bit now we'll games for it that's quite the number of bits the ps3 isn't even 64 bit it's 32 right (laughs) um this is stupid they beat the next gen consoles to the market by like two fucking months so now for all of history smartphones hit actual 64 bit (laughs) before consoles did oh yeah that's how history is gonna read no history is gonna read the n64 was 64 bit that's true (laughs) you're never gonna be able to convince anyone otherwise it's true Mm-hmm. This is coming from the guy who argued with Rue from Rue of the Clan of Rue from Clan of the Gray Wolf that the PS2 was twenty one twenty eight bit and he could go suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he brought it up in a video. <laughs> He's like, I thought I would do instead of a sixteen bit gem a thirty two bit gem, and here's Dragon Quest eight. And I'm like, if your argument's that the game's 32-bit, that's okay. But in the video at some point, he said the console was 32-bit. And I'm like, though people used it like that, they could have done one 128-bit instruction. And he's like, true, but fuck you. And I'm like, <laughs> ah, fuck you. <laughs> and then we're both that's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> like a conversation with Ruben Glenn of the Grey Wolf. Honestly, that's how most conversations at RetroWare go. <laughs> Just ask Pac. Just ask Pat the NES Punk and Happy Video Game Nerd. Those two get along so well. I fucking admire their object hatred of each other. It's delightful. HVGN, though, he's sort of backing off as of late. Hmm. Like, Pat's like, how's the snow, asshole, or something like that. Like, I forget what it was. He made a fucking derisive (coughs) joke at uh, Derek. And then Derek's like, Jesus, man, won't you drop it? I'm like, no, never drop it, Pat. Hate Hate from the deepest part of your heart. (laughs) And then I was a bad guy in Fern Gully. (laughs) Nice. Yeah. Um, What were we? (laughs) Um, Something about iPhone. iPhone. We were clearly talking about Hexus. I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, So the home button has a fingerprint scanner on it. So you can lock your phone based on your uh, fingerprint, thumbprint more accurately. But um, the important thing here is that it doesn't store that in the cloud. It doesn't store that on your system data. Your thumb, your thumbprint isn't stored in any of those places. There's a dedicated place. It stays in completely encrypted. And the OS just tells that thing to check that that is your thumbprint. And that's good in an age where the NSA is halfway up everyone's dick. Right. Right. I don't doubt that they have my thumbprint, but... Yeah. <laughs> in any case, um, the 5S 64-bit, crazy. 
You were going to ask a question? I think, uh, yeah. To get... Will that have any compatibility issues with 32-bit no. programs? Uh, no. No issues. Um, it's fully compatible with 32-bit and 64-bit, much, oh, like, uh, okay. much like Windows would have when it started doing 64-bit if it weren't made by Microsoft. Uh, Motherfuckers. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So no, do you want to buy the Xbox One 32-bit or 64-bit? Uh, well, 64 is bigger... <laughs> Well, now your driver's done. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's delightful. Like, can I download new ones? Nope. No. What? No, that, that, that would cause piracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope we stick with that as the go-to reason we're not doing this thing that we should be doing. <laughs> because that would cause piracy. Yeah. Then, then one time they'll slip up and say terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> Didn't they do that back in May? When you pirate games, you are directly funding terrorism. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait. Because there were a couple of things in there that were batshit insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still spinning. The room is still spinning. Give me a moment to recalibrate my estimate of how fucking crazy you are. <laughs> there's, there's a level of insane where you just, you hear it, and you find yourself looking them up and down, checking them for weapons one more time. <laughs> uh, real quick to bust out the other notable improvements, other than iOS 7, you're getting it for free. Right. Everybody, uh, 4 at, so iPhone 4S and 5 get iOS 7. Mm. That has so many new features, and that's such an improvement over the prior thing. Thank God. Okay, I was like, you it's get it free with the new phone. Yeah, the new phone no, has new there iOS. is. There is. <laughs> Uh, all the productivity apps on uh, uh, iTunes are free to new Apple customers. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, because no. they waited so long to mention that last part. Yeah. I was like, oh, that sucks. Because I kind of wanted the iMovie and, uh, oh, okay. you That's know, that. document stuff. I got you. Uh, yeah. And there was another one, too. I Ice can't cream. remember right now. I scream, you scream. The cops come. It's Oya, awkward. Oya screams. Um so other than that they made the image sensor on the camera uh, a square image now instead of the weird iphone exact <laughs> iphone red study i, I kind of like that where it's like okay clearly this is an iphone video <laughs> yeah me certain expectations see i yeah yeah me too and, but, and also several posts where they're like okay uh, I, I know you hold your phone vertically normally Turn that shit sideways when you take video. The interesting thing is YouTube actually supports uh, if somebody uploads a video that's like that with the vertical stuff, mm. if you hold your phone vertically and watch it, it'll actually fill it. Nice. Yeah, YouTube's so bad at everything, I never expected that. <laughs> and I mean that. YouTube is bad at everything. Mm. Speaking of which, they just removed... Well, they remove in two hours um, video replies. That's no longer a feature. Mm -hmm. It's gone now. Right. Um... So, yeah, they made the uh, sensor pixels, uh, the sensors for each pixel on the uh, camera sensor, uh, larger. Because then it'll absorb more life, light and have a better image. Absorb it'll more absorb light. Absorb more soul. It's going to feed, it's going to feed, the, j check this out, it's going to feed the fly to the spider and then the spider to the cat and the cat to, uh, well, it. <laughs> Google just starts I figured it was the apple starts eating. It was oh, yeah, absorbing yeah. that stuff. Then oh, that's right. The spider to the bird and the, the bird, bird to the cat. cat. The cat to the dog. And I think it like it goes horse and cow, and I'm never sure which order that's supposed to be in. Huh. Huh. So in any case. Um so it takes in more light. They increase the aperture so it's a wider shot too. That's good. Um and they added all the cool features that Samsung phones have where when you go to take a picture, it's going to take like a few simultaneously and be like, this is the one that's not blurry and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean to do this? Yes, I am a great photographer. I, I love the blur. The blur is how I know it's taken from an iPhone. <laughs> I might get tricked into thinking this man feels like buying equipment that's suited to what he's doing. Honestly, here's the thing about taking pictures on, on your uh -huh. iPhone. Yeah. I, I know that this is not a well-known fact. Right, okay. Because I've seen these pictures on the internet. Right. Point your iPhone at some shit, then take a breath. Wait two seconds. That shit will autofocus like a champion. Yeah. Yeah, just tap on it and it'll just find the point you tapped on and it'll properly focus. But no, most people are like, Derp. you know, if you hit the volume buttons, it'll actually just take the image without even trying to yeah. focus. Yeah, I, that's what those are for. So you can just keep snapping pictures. Mm -hmm. um, they it can now film slow motion video, so 120 frames per second. So when we go to do 
our slow motion shot for the movie. We're using an iPhone <laughs> as a statement. About no. what? <laughs> we couldn't afford it. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> slow motion. But Are you actually planning to get a uh, a new iPhone? No. Okay. Jesus. Was, like, is... No. Like, <laughs> most people don't do yearly upgrades. Yeah, Tim's no. getting the new one. Our friend right, Tim. because yeah. he, 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 did, has a he, he did get five. He yeah, has a 4S. Yeah, okay. He, he does the S's. We do the numbers. I do the numbers. Actually, I don't know if I'll be coming back for an iPhone 6. I really don't. Depends on whether or not Android gets its shit together in the next year, year and a half. Because, like, so many <laughs> things about Android. <laughs> Me neither! I'm not betting on that. Um, but, yeah, I think there's, like, one last thing. I, I'm just so, like, the 5C, that, that looks like such, so cheap. Yeah, that's the point. Like, it's point it's to increase their margins. I know, but it's like... people who are buying it after it came out obviously don't care about having the cutting edge. So uh, large people don't care about having the cutting edge. Also, don't care to have the the most aesthetically pleasing design. Colors. What are I'm saying obviously, is, obviously, I feel it should. What be are cheaper. you laughing about? Because you said large people don't care about having the cutting edge. <laughs> I think I said by large those people. I think you meant to say that. <laughs> okay, whatever. In any case, what well, all I'm saying? saying is, it's like they could probably do more of a discount for people. Try and yes, get. Yes, they could. Yeah. They're but just no, they're increasing not. their margins because their investors are going crazy. <laughs> they hit the top, right? They okay. had all the fucking money, and for some reason, hype drove their stock price all the way up to fucking unreasonable heights. Mm -hmm. And ever since, it's just been crawling down, and Apple's been like, what can we even do <laughs> right? to get you people to stop being crazy assholes? Why is their stock price dropping? Uh, reality? I don't know. Because? Because. There's never a good answer for that. Humanity? <laughs> why, why is our stock price changing? Because nobody knows how this shit works. Don't even ask. <laughs> Pretty much. I hate that fucking thing. The iPhone? The stock market. <laughs> <laughs> the iPhone? Although the iPhone does keep trying to tell me to check my stocks. Yeah. Like, I boot it up and there's like three different things. Like, you can check your stocks here. And I'm like, I... No. So, uh, this isn't, this wasn't, let me, let me, uh, let's take a picture of myself. Then you can stop t telling me to take my socks. You know, <laughs> you know, I don't have those. I, I, I think <laughs> here, here's my thumbprint. Yeah. I'm that poor asshole. Stop I, throwing I, stocks I'll, in my face. Hold that thought. Dan, mm -hmm. meet, meet, meet me by the microphone. Okay. Yeah. What's up? Did, did Bob just totally diss me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think he was, maybe, maybe it was a compliment. Maybe it was just a backhanded compliment. He's saying that, you know. You don't look like the man who'd buy into the oh, okay. stock market. All Not right, literally right. so buy it into it, but okay. buy into it. it. You're above that. You're above that. Okay. Hey, right. I, I have some... Uh, right, wait, wait, come back. Yeah, yeah. I, I got uh, some really cool albums, uh, if you want to listen to them after this. I, I really don't. They're on vinyl. I know. Uh, no? I'm, I'm really... My I, vinyl record collection is actually... Dan, we, we, yeah. we, we've been over this. Um, yeah. You're a hipster. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm sort of an anti-establishment uh, anti-hero. That makes you an asshole. Right. Mm. Right. I, okay. Wait, am I an asshole? Yes. Are we both assholes? Yeah, but see, I'm wait, like wait, an no, asshole wait. on a motorcycle with a cigar, and, and, and you're an asshole in a sweater vest in July. Yeah. I, was that supposed to be a larger character statement, or like you noticed? Is that... <laughs> Damn it. This joke was going places. You can't, <laughs> you can't crack up. <laughs> I wore a long sleeve turtleneck in July. That fucking happened, and we're in Florida. Fucking deal with it. Fuck you, Bob. This is all your fault somehow. <laughs> but you can, uh, iOS 7, you can directly transfer files in between phones. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm now hanging out. It, it is now the future, and I am in a car outside of your house sending <laughs> you pictures. God damn it. It's just like the PSP. <laughs> damn it. So futuristic. Wait, wait. That other thing. 64 bit, right. I'm going to turn my PSP back on and see what my wallpaper is. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest that. No. What did um, you do to my PSP? <laughs> Yeah.
security on the news? I mean, there's some shit about Syria, but that's not really yeah. our, our purview here. What's Syria? It's 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 a breakfast food. Uh, I thought that was the voice that comes out of my phone. Oh no, that's that, that's Syriana. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead ask me about cereal that weird movie about the, the 80s olympics with the israeli oh fun fact uh-huh. uh tokyo just won the bid for the 2020 olympics oh yeah yeah, yeah. and um bob knows i know <laughs> yeah dylan cuthbert's like oh my god i thought this was a joke <laughs> <laughs> can't wait for world war three <laughs> um, man I hope that they have like amazing competitions like growing bizarre <laughs> to, to bizarre shapes <laughs> I, I do still love that opening sequence where it's you know a huge explosion and like nine hours later World War 3 starts I'm like damn nine hours these motherfuckers don't have the internet <laughs> <laughs> well we gotta we gotta tune in for like eight hours of our 24 hour news stations because I imagine like like Tokyo disappears, and then we we start like bombing Edo or some shit. Mm-hmm. Because clearly, giant city disappearing weapons cannot be allowed, and we have to step in and put a stop to that. It it takes Japan a few hours to rebuild its infrastructure enough to send us a message of what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> On a giant topic shift, <laughs> uh, they showed off the second form of the three starters oh yeah oh. i was pretty cool with chespin uh, until i saw that damn it <laughs> yeah i guess since you're the grass guy i should go ahead and pull this up for you listening at home google chespin second form yeah, if I you want to see aggro eat his own dick <laughs> <laughs> that's fine <laughs> if you want to see aggro eat his own dick you either need to have you know <laughs> Uh, an extensive diet and exercise plan <laughs> or a rusty knife and nothing to lose. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I, think, I think Dan's going to die from the thought of me in jogging shorts. Uh... <laughs> it's so unflattering. <laughs> See, Bob, that's how you insult someone's physical appearance. You crass fucker. I haven't seen these yet either. I'm... Aww. No. He's so cute. No, I'm not going for that. Whoa, that is weird. Those are the second forms? I thought those were mega evolutions. What? No. What? No. Mega evolutions of, of first yeah, forms? Yeah, no, no. That's You can see an arrow from the first form to go directly oh, okay. to that. I was in so a, Fennekin's oh. French. I see. Fennekin's French? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... The, the whole game is France, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I'm totally down for Chessman's second form. I'm. Mm. The frog see. is getting more and more irritable as he evolves. <laughs> <laughs> he will eventually just frog rage. I haven't seen it, or I haven't paid attention and stored in my brain his third. I form. haven't seen them. I've only seen oh. those. I thought those were the mega evolutions. Oh, I was no, no. They, to see they showed that. first form, last form. And now they're showing middle form. Because you got to know what they're going to evolve to look like. Because it has third form. Everybody's really. Yeah. yeah. I guess I care too much. About yeah, I've been trying to avoid uh, at least that stuff. I really like. I enjoy having my at least starter be very much a question of what's going to happen. Really? No. Ever since Silver, never again. Yeah, he's right. Fuck Cyndaquil. <laughs> yeah, Cyndaquil was kind of. Uh... Uh, it turns into typhlosion, which evolves into asplosion, which evolves into gay butt sex. I'm not down with that. I'm hanging out with this gay Pokemon. They're like, oh man, you and you're fighting for the rights of gay Pokemon. And I'm like, what? No, I'm just defeating you because you're bad guys. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not for or against that. Stop making every conversation about my gay Pokemon. <laughs> which I may or may not. Okay, they're all gay. I have like sure a it. gay farm. I keep putting them in there with dittos, and all the dittos become our dicks, and then they sword fight. 
for anyone out there who thinks this is some sort of comical hyperbole, Dan's entire Pokemon experience is dropping things off at the daycare with a ditto that he then tersely orders out loud while other people are in the room to transform into a pile of dicks and sword fight until they make a baby that knows Thunder Punch. <laughs> I'm checking to see if I can pull up. Yeah, I'm like, maybe Dan's gone insane. <laughs> He's made up third forms for these things. Maybe Dan He's drank... made up third forms. They don't exist. <laughs> maybe Dan... Maybe Dan drank a bit heavily one night and ended up... Fought on... a raccoon, thinking it was Chespin's final form. <laughs> Chespin's weird. I can't believe he gets so round. Yeah. That's pretty weird. Yeah. I have to wonder where he's going. He's cool, bro. He becomes a tire at the end. I imagine he's going to be all like bear-like and shit. That'd be cool. Yep, okay. I'm not seeing a third form. Wow. What was I thinking of? I could have sworn I saw a third I mean, form. They showed Mega Evolutions for the starters. Uh, for the original starters. I'm Sorry. Like, I'm like, red and blue. Right, yeah. I know. I'm not oh going to forget. Now, now I've just got fucking Venusaur with that hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's not far. Oh. <laughs> nice. <I'm just> <laughs> um, oh my god, Executor would rule with that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna end this podcast now before I have to listen to Agro list all the Pokemons <laughs> he would like to see fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Typhlosion, does Typhlosion work for you? No, it would catch on fire. Of course.